things that we can go. What are we? Before I get rolling, one thing. One thing? things. Okay, there's one down. This taken care of. Not that I really care about that. Yeah. <laughs> 
makes that sound. Welcome. War Narvik. Welcome. Hey. Sir underscore. Sounds like it's something being harvested, but I don't know what. I'm a ways from the village. Oh well, doesn't matter. Sounds like blocks being broken, but or something like it. I can't tell. Doesn't matter. Fuck it. Forget it. Just forget it.
Welcome. Squeak B. Hello, B. Squeak B. Said. Hey there, E. How are you doing, B? How's things? Oh, I guess I have a tiny bug bite on my arm. Okay. Squeak B said, still kinda out of it. <coughs> Squeak B said, but you know. Squeak B said, whatevs. Squeak B said, how about you? Uh, I'm not doing too bad. Um. Wasn't feeling great today. Uh, I was concerned it was more issues with my stomach stuff, but it was uh, some 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 greens, some uh, salad that had turned essentially. Um, So, uh, that was some coffee may cause, cause a little bit of distress, but other than that, uh, I've been fine and my body is going back to normal in relatively short quarter. Um, still only Squeak two B oaks. said, I knew it. Veggies are acutely Hello. terrible for you. Hey there. Squeak how's it going? B how's it going? Said, going good. Your one instance proves it. Yes, of course, B, it does. But, uh, it, it gave him a temporary account or something like that. I don't know why. Wait, say, say that again? I said it gave Clay a temporary account. Okay. So, I don't know what that means. So he's going to be using that, or he's waiting to get this resolved, or... Oh, oh he is going to just use that. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Trying to get this thing figured out. Welcome. I didn't actually need to come, come back Come on, Darut. Oh, well. <coughs> yeah, I'll just grab more. It's fine. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm going to throw together one more house in that village and then uh, call it sufficient for a while. <laughs> um, I mean, the good news is we've got a bunch of villagers, so we can just uh, move them along to elsewhere. I see that. Wow. Tonight, I am kind of going a little hard with the alcohol. Okay. Squeak B. I took it easy Said. last night, so I still have my you same thing. You guys killed more villagers. I'm going real hard with the Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got the, I've got, let's see here. It's a blend of um, chai tea and cocoa. Vanilla chai, sorry. Are you trying That's to find the inner piece? No. It's just <laughs> good. Just Who's looking for a bomb? I didn't understand Stay anything it. you just said there. Yeah, you broke um, up real bad, bro. Give me a minute. Uh, we cured three uh, last night. Um, three villagers. B. 
and um, we built a couple more houses. Have it put up a bunch of uh, street lamps. Um, we built a long house. This has, I think, six beds in it. Yes. Havoc built another uh, longhouse or cabin in the corner here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna throw uh, together one yeah, more. Then gave me some weird random name. Okay. Okay. Uh, his uh, username is engineer underscore diesel. Uh, where do I add that? Does it have the underscore in the oh. um, in the list where it says to add, uh, to join friends? Yeah, I'm working on it. Yes, it does. Um, I it. Okay. <clears throat> well, I was just gonna say I don't know if if uh, my my username on here has a Wow, we've got like a town meeting going on. What's up, Yeah, guys? see, what's weird? My, uh, my username... I scared him. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> my username is different on here than it is anywhere else. It's just Dead Havoc, right? Um, no. On here, you are uh, lowercase x, uppercase x, then... Dead Havoc only with an uppercase D and then uppercase lowercase X again. Okay, that's right. That's what I mean. But uh, it, to add me as a friend, there's numbers behind it. That's what's weird about it. Interesting. Yeah. It says my name will appear different to Xbox players than uh, cross-platform players. Okay. Uh, it's not showing up for me. What's your name? What's your random name they gave you? Um, Card Gorgon six nine three nine. All right, give me a second. I'll try and add that. What's up, honey? Here, take this. Once my phone starts to die, I'm going to come steal it. All right. Any capitals in that? Uh, capital C Slobber. and, and they were playing. capital G. <laughs> yeah, they're conked out. Oh. Minecraft with Alex and uh, Clay. Card Gorgon six nine three nine. Yep. Why? Here, you need a. Uh, Did you just get an invite? Uh, Where's the? You know? It should have been right. Oh, it's right here. I got your. I got your shit, girl. Huh. Look, bring it here. Let me see. There's stuff in there. Because if there's stuff in there, you blow it out. Yeah, there's still stuff in there. You just knock the you knock the ashes out first. You're like dunk dunk dunk, because the rest of the stuff will just stick in there. Yeah. See, that's why I try to put a screen in it. <laughs> <coughs> Exactly, do you go to add a friend down here? 
You want me to put more in there? I can't yeah. tell you because I'm on PC, so I'm gonna guess the layout is different. Yeah, I was hoping different. Russell would pay attention here, but... Oh, I'm glad you don't have trouble sleeping. Yes. How do I add a friend on here? Uh, go to, uh, there will be a tab where it's your worlds, then hit R1, or L2, or R1 or R2. Go to the next tab, it'll say, add friend, uh, add friend, uh, cross-platform friends. Right. Okay, I got and that. Then go to there. I typed it. So, wh where's his, or what's his gamer tag on here? Like, exactly. It's engineer underscore diesel. I, I don't right. think Any there's... Uh, engineer and diesel are capitalized. I don't think... Uh, l let me double check, but I don't think there's an underscore on my gamer tag. Oh, actually, yeah, try it without the underscore. I'm... I... Dude, there's no underscore on his tag. My bad. That's, yeah, that's not on here. You're welcome, love. Yeah, there's no underscore on it. I just looked. There it is. Add friend. My bad. <laughs> I'm just trying to hog his world all to yourself. Shut up. Alright, I'm coming in. Okay. Uh, ah, crap. I'm gonna need to go and direct you. Oh, it's loaded. How? And one of those little shitheads peed. Wow. Oh boy. Here. I'll be over your I'll way. I'll be right back. I'm. I'll I'm be... not too far away. I'm headed towards all the light. He has been taking down some pillagers, eh? Yeah, yeah, I kind of save little trophies every time. It's like a you know, graveyard of all your guys' mass murder of the indigenous species. Indigenous, nothing. They're assholes that uh, harass everybody else. Yeah. Alright. I am. Um... Over at you guys' farm, I'm assuming? Um. The ranch is Havoc's. Mine is the, uh. The dual layer house that has okay I see your name tag moving around ah there we go hello uh hello. did Havoc say if he had uh, armor for you or not he said nothing okay then give me a second and I will throw some things your way alrighty What are you guys working on right now? Um, I was building one more house for villagers, and then after that, I had no plans. How much is piece we need? Boots and leggings. Okay, got those. Got that. Hold up. So did Clay Hold join? Up. Yeah. Yep. yep. Hold, okay. up. Hold up. Clay. Wait. I'm right here. Oh, sorry. Didn't know you were out. It's okay. You have checkered armor, and that is super cool. That's uh, chain mail. 
Woo! All the stuff. Uh, well, thank so you. So, you should have some chainmail, some iron armor, ar iron armor uh, sword, pickaxe, regular axe, and a shovel, correct? Yes, I sir. love you. And okay. You tossed me 11 baked potatoes as well. Correct. Okay. Oh, I was going to make him some iron armor from all the iron I have at my house. Eh, not a big deal. Uh, okay. I, I have I have plenty, and we have a lot of chain mail, so it was uh, totally fine. Oh, let me... I, I actually happen to have a bow here. Let me toss that your way, too. Okay, Although I suck you, with those, but I'll give it a go. Well, <laughs> you're going to need arrows for it, so, you know, in time. Um, we'll get there. You know. Oh. Uh, hmm? to tell you about my fishing pole with the mending on it and uh, it's called the uh, luck of the C3 and lore 3 and mending 1 as I was fishing with it it just kept gaining health it's literally unbreakable well yes and no you need to catch stuff with it if you were to like cast it and reel it in cast it and reel oh, it yeah, in oh yeah 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 I wait till I catch something before I reel it in <laughs> I don't move. If I throw it in there, and I'm like, well, I can't move and uh, uncast this until uh, I catch something because I don't want to be broke. It's at full health. It's like completely. <coughs> I'm like, yeah, this thing's awesome. I'm just saying, technically, it's possible. It'll take a fair amount of effort to to break it, but it's it, it can be done. Yeah. I was just saying what you told me last night worked. Okay. Oh, that makes so much more sense. Are these horses wearing armor, I'm assuming? Yes. Yeah, the two diamond ones are mine and Alex's. You can have the gold uh, who, one. Who's his butt stallion? That will be Alex. <laughs> That's great. I happened to find uh, diamond horse armor, so I was like, yeah, I'll just name my horse butt stallion. And it turned out the horse is basically a Clydesdale. He's got a bunch <laughs> of health, but he's slow and he can't jump. So I just kind of went, meh, okay. So we found uh, another one. Alright. Uh, let's let's see, here. see. Whoops. Um, oh, I need to. Uh... The road to the west goes to the village. Um, it's it's the road if you follow the large stone bridge. Okay, I was about to say, is there a way to turn a compass on on this game? That would um, be super helpful. No, and in fact, a uh, compass only points to the spawn point. Mm. Um, but when I head back to the base, I can give you a set of maps. That would be... Um, in fact, are you still there or are you heading this way? Play. Play. Is Discord being dumb and I'm not just hearing Clay, or or did we lose him? Uh -oh. Oh. Get some materials. Claire, are you still over by the base, or are you heading towards the village? Uh, I am out behind Russ's little ranch. I'm heading back, though. Okay, then I will head back to the base, and I will get that, uh, I'll get a map for you. In fact, I will get three for you. They are, uh, varying zoom levels. That's sweet. The level four map is incomplete at this point, so... Um, just so you know. But if you bring it up when you're uh, traversing a uh, unexplored area, it will fill it in as you go. <coughs> All right. One of these days, I gotta get you into my world. You'll be amazed. Okay. What we've done. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, no, I've been mining like crazy in that one. I've, I've just <laughs> been building. 
He's been up trying above to ground. Like... I've just been turning into a little troll down below ground. <laughs> May I help you, fathead? You done eating? Good boy. All right. No. 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 Can't. Grow. No. Not jumping like, up on my know, lap. An hour, hour and a half organizing all the chests. <laughs> Basically, he's a little housekeeper there. <laughs> yes. My little bitch. No. Where are you at? I'm gonna cut you. Oh yeah, you got friendly <laughs> fire turned on here. I'll cut you back, Ooh. fool. If you kill me and I lose all my experience, I will freaking quit and never play this game again. <laughs> it's actually the one of the reasons I stopped playing Minecraft. I'd spent I don't even know how long building like this massive floating castle in one of my worlds. And my friend Moby, he uh, he was playing with me, and thought it would be hilarious to uh, strategically place dynamite throughout my castle. Oh, oh, I remember that. Blew the whole that thing was up. Hilarious. I literally quit and did not play that. I I don't know, probably until a couple of years ago, and that was when I was like 15, 16. I don't even know. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> Dude, no, fuck that. I was pissed. <laughs> I remember I was that. Pissed. <laughs> you nearly cried. <laughs> I might have nearly punched him in the face, but no, I was pissed. <laughs> I laughed so hard you punched me in the arm for laughing so hard. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Look, shut the fuck up! <laughs> Punch my fucking little shit. Yeah. <laughs> And it was all up on the auto save, so there was no going Axel, back. Axel, I told you no. Get down. If you cannot I, be up here with me. If I get this going on, um, oh, what the fuck is it called? Realms. Then I am gonna try and do something for uh, time backups. So that way, if something does go horrendously wrong, if somehow we do get a, a troll in here, um can undo some, you know, fucking bullshit like that. Yeah. Oh, so if you do a realm, anybody can just join up on it? No. No. Uh, and I'm not expecting there to be, like, serious trouble or anything, but I still prefer to have uh, my, my bases covered. Yikes. Okay, so let's see here. This is a level 2 base. Well, all of them are Listed level two, four, three, or four, four, or four, and that's the different zoom levels on the maps. So, um, two is this area and a little bit beyond. Three um, should show you about where the village is, and then level four is about the furthest that we've explored for this map. Maybe a little bit beyond that. So if that gives you an idea of, you know, um, our, our workable area thus far. Oh yeah. wow, okay. You guys have got a, a lot of this level 4 map knocked out since I was watching you last. Yes, yes we do. What are you yeah. What are you up to over there, Russell? Making beds. I'm gonna go uh, for the villagers. Get away from you guys' houses and mine some stuff. Get some mats. I have you... a mine chef inside my house. Yeah, oh. there's there's plenty to find all over the place. Um, if you want, I can direct you towards a ravine. Uh, I also have sort of like a quarry set up over here that leads also away from the bridge. That was actually established, and then later I discovered that the village was out. You know, towards the uh, north. North? Right. Yes. And, um. Oh, there you go. Let's go see this village. You guys got it all repopulated? Basically. <laughs> um, well, a little more than repopulated. Before, there was only enough space for like four villagers. Um,. We, we set up, um, shit, I don't know what you'd call it, uh, 
I keep calling it a longhouse. Like a boarding house, maybe? Um, yeah. It's basically just like a general residence for a bunch of villagers. Um, and if everything goes as planned, hopefully uh, we can put in a few more tables for professions and then... I got the other house completed if you want to go look at it. <clears throat> Come on, Daddy, look what I did. Which, Come the, on. which look what the, I did. the one up in the corner? Yeah. <laughs> look what I could do. Okay, awesome. So, all right, that's another six beds. Cool. I can put one oh, more seven. right here, but... Eh, it's, it's good, it's good. This is... Okay. Looking good. Yeah, if you come into the village, all the lamps you see, I installed... Resume. That orphanage house back here in the corner is I built. You know, got little kids in there. I go, sir, please, I want some more. And then I say, no. No I'm kidding. <laughs> Damn, their sheep, uh, their wool already grew back. Awesome, except for like two of them, but cool. Is this a jail Ooh. cell? Huh? No. This is about jumped into just another house. I heard people building jail cells inside villages because sometimes they uh they commit murder and you can lock them up in there. I read about it. I didn't. I have never heard of it. that. That's I mean, what I read. That's, that's I, kind of funny, I, but <laughs> yeah. Like they, they they can't literally say you're in trouble and they're like okay and they'll follow you. You have to push them in there. Yeah. Actually, I think those I'm just going to make boards. Oh, yeah. By the way, there was a villager trapped in the sheep pen. Yeah. He couldn't get out. I got him out. <laughs> I'm like, how uh, did he get stuck in there? <laughs> he, he probably opened the door and walked in. Yeah. Villagers are seriously fucking dumb as a sack of hammers. Actually, I can make one more bed, put eight, and make it an even eight. I don't know why, but that's freaking bothering me that there's seven in there. If you never said anything, I wouldn't. I didn't count. I just put what I thought. Well, <laughs> now that I know there's an uneven number in there, I have to fix it. Not a big deal. Move, sheepy. You guys are stuck in here forever. Damn, I got enough wool to make five more beds. Rex, what are you doing? Stop. Yeah, Goofball. No, They're like little good. children have to constantly correct you. Be like Axel, grow up. <laughs> there we go. Now there's eight beds. I go to put a door on this house, the cat runs right past me, and as I shut the door I realize what happened, I'm like, oh no, don't let the cat in, and as I open it back up, it just continues to bolt through the house and jump out the <laughs> the, the window that doesn't have a pane in it yet, and it's like, uh, okay. I guess that's oh, fine. Oh, speaking of cats, how's Maddox doing? He's doing fine. Oh, that's um, good. He was being... After he got his appetite back... Oh, by the way, do you have glass panes or did you use those all up no i have i have 44 of them you need them uh if you could just put windows in this house here that's all yeah. that i need them for um okay. once he got his appetite back we ran into another problem uh -oh. the, the little fuckwit started eating until he couldn't he hold anymore himself yeah and then this was with dry food and it would expand in his stomach and he would puke it back up Oh. And it's like, you could tell exactly what happened because the dry food, I mean, he doesn't even finish chewing it all the way. It's still yeah. in, like, full kibble chunks. And... <laughs> yeah. uh. So, uh, what Rex did that when he was a puppy. He, like, he used it to engorge himself, and then when Axel came to me, he started gorging himself, like, oh, I gotta hurry up and eat this before the other dog does. 
and he and he wasn't even swallowing his food. He was literally inhaling it. So I got him a little slow feeder. You know, it's like you know what a slow feeder is, right? Uh, no. Okay, you go to like a pet store, and you go they'll have you go to where the cat bowls are and stuff. Uh, usually, gorging is a dog problem, so you might have to get a small dog bowl for him. Because that's usually where the slow feeders are. You'll see a thing. You'll say slow feeders have these little lines inside the bowl, and they it's have like to literally, inside a food yeah, bowl. and they literally can't eat it too fast. They have to lick it up one by one. Huh. They can't get to it like with their mouth. They have to use their tongue to get it out. Interesting. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> well, now there's two of us. It it does it's okay. We we basically just um dialed back how much food he gets for a while and um he went back to normal. Yeah, see I did that too and when I did, but I, it's different with dogs. But when I did it with uh Rex, I took him to the vet. They said he was underway. I was like, "Well, he kept gorging himself." And so I just cut back his food. I and and like I give him instead of two times I give it three times a day she's like still it's not enough for him so it's he's underweight and he's a little malnourished so you have to you have to get a slow feeder and give him the two mouths of food like even though you feed him three times a day now she goes it's still not enough for his body to is still not getting enough food I was like oh but that's the thing Maddox is getting enough food yeah. yeah. Oh, I know. I was like, it could be different with cats or anything. I mean, like, I'm just it's, going off it's... what a veterinarian said to me. Yeah, no, it was just <clears> him <throat> panicking over, uh, you know, he wasn't able to eat for, like, half a week, which, you know, yeah. if he's a cat. That's kind of a big deal. Um, so that was him just, you know, panicking, you know, he can, he can eat again, so he's going to eat as much as he can. Um, so we dialed back his food, and once we did that, um, everything fell into place. So he's fine. Um, That's good. I was just giving you some 411. There's what? Gang of zombies at the front door. Ah, uh, leave them be. Yeah, as long as they're not inside the village, no big deal. Usually I'm the muscle that takes care of them. Because I got the diamond sword that's enchanted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Dead. I don't know when the last time was that you played, but um, uh, enchanting is not nearly as dumb as it used to be. Oh, yeah, no. He, Russell was telling me about some of the enchantments. Uh, that was all like before I actually played whenever I've cat or after I played but uh I've played a few times casually since then and still have no idea what the hell enchanting really is or how to do it. Uh it's easy. Um so first things first, if you either perform certain tasks or kill things, you build experience. Yeah, yeah. And that experience bar is what gives you levels to imbue things with enchantments. Mm. Um, once you get like level 10, I think, you'll probably be able to start dropping level 1 enchantments. And okay. then... Uh, then I can show you how it works. Basically, you have three different types of enchantment levels. Don't get lost, Clay. I got a map. Yeah. <coughs> I already gave him copies of the the maps, so. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm just... He he'll have to go quite a ways out there if he gets lost. <laughs> yeah. I don't plan. Oh, maybe I should. I should gather some stuff before I run down into the city. Area. And there are caves in the village itself as well. Oh. Have little uh just come ooh. back and explore your guys' mine shafts. Have these little That's what um, she said. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, I lagged out there. Ooh. Put that in the right place. There we go. off 
that's not even the block that I wanted. Okay. Alright, I'm actually gonna run back to my house real quick. Get a getting a skill thing, so I'm just gonna run from. Oops. I'm still trying to use my Call of Duty controls. <laughs> trying to triangle the switch weapons. I'll have your speech to text on your uh, stream. Uh, yes. Uh oh. Because okay. when I first got on, your uh, got on in here and got on Discord with you, I was like, I was hearing an echo there, and it sounded like a robotic person, like oh, da, 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 da. I'm like, what the hell is that? And then it went away. I haven't heard it since. It sounded like a female robot. Yeah. yeah. I meant to say something earlier, but I kind of spaced it and then it jumped back in my head. Nah, it's all good. Yeah, oh. it's, it's still going. <laughs> so, Clay, uh, is the when you joined this thing, is it a, the original skin? It's not yeah. like Alex? Oh, okay. So. Now, hopefully you can tell like why I don't like the original skin. Because <laughs> everything looks so stupid. No, I, I prefer the original over the Skyrim, honestly. Everything's clear. I can differentiate blocks better. What? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, no worries, you were just talking about how much of a little bitch you are. <laughs> Fuck you. Alright, I came here for my fishing pole. Oh, hey, I think oh. I found your little key. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Wake me up before you go go. Don't leave me hanging like a yo yo. I don't know why that song popped up in my head, Whoa. but it did. Okay, well um... that that song will always remember remind me of the uh the The Alamo. <sighs> no, I'm kidding. Um, Zoolander. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember that. So, I was killing a pig and I fell down a hole somewhere near the village, so. Ah, uh, do you need help? No, I'm good. I'm just okay. gonna keep diving down this hole. Alright, uh, you got that. <sighs> Okay, you got your pick. You got picks, axe, and stuff you need. Yep, yep. Uh, yep, yep. Up. All right. Don't be like me. I'm the one that's known for falling in holes. You can't take my title. Uh, just you wait. Oh, I fell into a cavern, a canyon, a ravine. You can't beat me, son. <laughs> beat. I uh, survived them all. Got lost, fell in the ravine, horse got stuck, we had to retreat and then come back, retrieve the horse. Almost got blown up by a creeper, knocked him back in. <laughs> that was that was a whole nother level of fiasco. Yeah, and even though Alex was being really calm and collective, I could sense his frustration. <laughs> Why did I let him in? <laughs> Pretty much like, god damn it. Like, I can tell he's frustrated with me, like, pay more attention, you dumbass! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the big thing was, like, I had literally just said, like, just wait for me at the village, I know where you are, I'll come get you. And then on the way there, I hear, oh shit, I fell in a ravine. It's like, why? <laughs> There's no ravines in the village. No, I was, go I was going to the village down from the mountain. 
because I was like, okay, you're you, because you were closer to the village that wasn't <laughs> on the mountain. So I was like, oh, that's right there. I'll just run there and you can get me quicker. I did not see the ravine. I went, shoo, down I go. I was like, shit. And now it's like, mm -hmm. big, big, big. Oh, you want to shoot? Freaking stuff. Okay. All right, house is done. Whoa. What? Uh, I just caused a minor cave-in down here in the dark. Yeah, if you've got... Expecting. Squeak I thought I was hitting stone Sid. and it turned out it was a... Uh, Look at gravel. that. A baby villager. Squeak you don't have any torches? Sid. I'm working on you it. You got them breeding too. <sighs> Yes, we did get them breeding. Said. I don't know how. Yes, brown chicken, That's brown cow. What? Did Bees. you say bow chicka bow bow? B said bow chicka wow wow, and I said brown chicken, brown cow. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty much how we got it. It was a full setup. We had a camera crew and everything, and we just watched them go at it. It's on minecrafthub.com if you want to check it out. Hey, I got a question. If if hmm. villagers can open up doors, Squeaky. can't they switch levers? Said. At last content I don't for know. my kink. <laughs> oh, probably be... be best when we leave here. We should just uh -huh. hit the hit the lever from the outside so uh. they can't open it from the inside. Yes, I agree. Um, although that, I mean, that's what you want to do anyway because then it makes it easier to get back in. Uh, B just said, at last, some content for my kink. Yes. Actually, you'd be surprised <laughs> how big a market there is for Minecraft porn. Uh, have you heard about that Roblox thing? No. Oh, dude. Someone went on there hacked Roblox and made a sex uh, uh, realm okay and was streaming it live and also Squeaky. posting videos Sid. Sounds fun. onto Pornhub them square boobs. and while they were doing this having like porn like this really happened there was little children that were playing this game seeing this happen in the game I was like, so I went onto my, I, I like, I went onto my Roblox account because I, my son Russell plays it, and so does my daughter, and I looked to see if they were online. I was like, okay, they're not online. So I went and called their mother, sent her the link, and I told her I said, remove that stuff off their phone right now. It's going on as we speak. I had just keep it off until they get rid of it. <laughs> it was crazy because like. I look. I read the article, and it was like, yeah, they were working on uh, removing the content and fixing what the hackers broke. I mean, you know, you're gonna if you're gonna make a video and upload it to Pornhub, then fine, do what you want. But the general I mean, rule of life: don't be a dick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it... <laughs> Folks love them square boobs. Yeah. Um, what? <laughs> uh, Who said B, that? <laughs> B said, I guess folks love them square boobs. See, Madonna conditioned them with her triangle boobs back in the <laughs> Yes. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh my god, I can't laugh too loud. Sorry. Oops. My wife will get mad. She's got to work in the morning. I got to work uh, getting my drink on. I think I'm about to throw some Kahlua on the rock. Why didn't you just... Oh, yeah, Dude, that's right. Never mind. You can make fun of me all you want. I may have started doing that out of desperation, but it is delicious. 
Yeah, if you keep doing that, I'm gonna start calling you Brittany. Well, it's Brittany, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Welcome. No. <I> just... <laughs> I wasn't thinking of that when I said it. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going, but I do know I need to go up there. Eh, you know what? As long as you have a way back out, that's what's important. In here too. Oh, we got little babies running around. They're... What's so cool, the villagers on my screen, they don't look the same. One's an orc, one's a red, red, uh, red born or whatever that's called. And then you got your the reptile and the cat one, uh, the Hajik or Khajiit. Yeah, yeah, they're all like Skyrim characters. That's pretty that freaking cool. Khajiit. The Khajiit has got a dark elf, a wood elf. Look, there's a baby, and then there's a baby wood elf. No, dark elf. Oh, you say it's a baby. Oh, where do you think you're going, little guy? I'm going to go do some black magic Excuse and destroy me. this town. That's what he's telling me. Oh my god, how did you get up in there, you stupid merchant? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh, I see how you got up there. <laughs> my humor is very rudimentary. He's got some, uh, sea pickles to two uh, emeralds for one. I don't know what that is. It looks weird. I wish I would tell you what it is he has instead of you have to guess. It doesn't disp well, okay, let me come over where you are. I'll take a look. He's in the... Oh yeah, he's just in the middle of town. Yeah, in the fountain. Being a douche. Hey, look, look, look. Another baby's about to be born. Yes. Yes. Look, Maybe give me like let's squeak be seen. Oh yeah. Bow chicka bow wow. Oh, little baby came out right over with pooter. <laughs> oh, more love happened. Dude, the whole town's making man. love. <clears throat> Dude, look up right behind you, Alex. There's an orgy Sweet going on. Pete. I shit you not. Said orgy. <laughs> and B just said orgy. The merchant has sugar canes, <laughs> vines, a spruce tree, glowstone, a sea pickle, and ice. Dude, there's like one, two, three, four, five kids now that just popped out. <laughs> there was a massive orgy going on behind you. Squeak beat. You turn people on. Says, <laughs> the villagers the village seem like. Oh, look, another one. Here we go. Yes, yes. Um... Tell him to call him daddy. Call him daddy. B yes, says, takes yes. a village to make a child. <laughs> I think she saw the orgy. <laughs> the, 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 there was a mass. All of them are right there behind you, just doing it. <laughs> well, I'm glad I made that house with eight beds. <laughs> well, that's precisely why that happened. Start with just two villages. Oh. We started with three. We started with three villagers. And there yeah. were four beds. And in order to get more villagers, you need to have structures of a certain size and beds within them. So we added Wait. six more in here. Yeah. And then we added <laughs> the back corner, which now Sweet has beat. eight plus another Reset. one of the house I just built. Uh, so The most inbred village. B says, ah, the most inbred village. That's what I was literally fixing to say. It's like, so you're telling me how all these people are inbred? That's what I was literally fixing to say. That's how they well, saved the California condor. That's why they all like... Hey, cousins make dozens. <laughs> you know, dozens of aborted fetuses. <laughs> California condor suffers from this uh, huh. genetic mutation. That results in like spontaneous uh, abortion. Hmm. Oh, the little so kids are running into back. the big house. There's they're all going to bed. You know what? Some I wish kids listened this well when 
I wish mine did. Like, hey, it's time for bed. Okay, I'll run into their beds and go to sleep. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah, all eight, all eight beds are filled up with children. The orphan house. What the mm. fuck is up with this guy? Rows Mr. of potatoes Bellers. and then just one set of beets in the middle. Okay. Uh -oh. You know, I'm not gonna judge. I like beets. It's cool. Shit. I didn't cut the roof of my path high enough for stairs. Villager, I don't think these three villagers have anywhere to sleep, Alex. They're just standing outside. Sometimes just wandering around. Sometimes Sleepy. they'll be dumb like that. Sid. Oh, they just dropped something to each other. It, oh, it was a drug deal. Get back over here. You're under arrest. Try to pass it off. You think I didn't see it? He dropped the okay. beat. Yes. Okay. They yes. just came back from the brink of extinction. Let them fucking make and sell meth, please. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that they just walked past, and one of them just dropped something as the other one walked by, and he picked it up automatically and kept walking. That was a drug deal. That was a business transaction. You do it, you got AKA. What you got on my forty? They so <laughs> they have they have it looks like replaced almost all the crops in the town with potatoes. We have some oh. carrots. We have one beet plant. The wheat is gone. They just really like potatoes, apparently. <coughs> Fucking Irish. Hey, I love potatoes, and I'm Irish. They're freaking bomb. French fries, potato chips, mashed potatoes, baked potato, or just eat a potato like an apple. Freaking delicious. Squeak I have a friend Said. that Fried potato. Potato, potato, potato cakes. Is a really subtle way of bragging Hash browns. And Bristol, you are. What? I wasn't I listening friend, to your. She uh, made a joke about being her like being a potato, and uh, I told oh. her that was a very subtle way about bragging how awesome and versatile she was. <laughs> oh, Ruth. <laughs> well, I got an ideal. Since they like potatoes, we should call it Idaho. It's that out. that is literally what B just said in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Great mind, stick a light. Squeak B said, Potatoes originated in Peru. I like to bring that up because it's not really common knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, B pointed out that fun fact per potatoes originated in Peru. Um, I didn't know it was Peru, but I knew it was somewhere in, in South America. Yeah, uh, actually, she's. Yeah, it's right. They originated in Peru, and Peru started uh, trading with, uh, if I am correct. That's how it was. A kind of a currency back then. They got uh, they traded uh, with a uh, damn. I can't remember the, their damn name for the life of me. Well, but it was they. they said, yeah, she's right. I totally forgot about that. I learned that in uh, in high school. The um the uh you know most people think it originated in Russia because they make vodka. That's what the funny part. Like, oh, Russians are the original potato holders. I'm like, uh, no, they're not. <laughs> they're and honestly, the I could not remember holders. who it was. And Beat said it, Peru. And that's it. She's completely right. Peru. <laughs> I couldn't remember who. But I, I know for a like long Russia, while it was um, uh, yeah. Europe would only use them as pig feed. Um, they didn't want to use them as food. And there's one guy, I believe he was French. He really liked them, and he's trying to explain to them, like, these are good, and they're good for you, and we should really eat them. So he started to uh, es essentially get this initiative going with trying Sweetie. to build momentum for Said. the potato. And they were brought to Ireland because they were stocky and easy to cook and eventually became the main yeah. food source. This is Turned like, out I think, that I think that's what we got going idea. on in this town right now. Um, I think we need to build more beds, like three more to be specific. Here, I'll, I'll start on it. Yeah, it's up to you. Got... I, I... What does the green stars above their head mean? I don't know. Because um, they like went around a corner and he kind of jumped up in the air and green stars were coming. Like, it looked like he was surprised. 
That's usually what happens when like plants grow, so I'm guessing that's like a level up type thing. We can put oh, okay. beds in some of the shops, so if you make like literally three more, you can put one in the blacksmith's shop, the stonemason's shop, and in the... What the fuck is it? The church, for lack of a better term. I don't know. I guess it would be a church, because it's a cleric. Hall, town center. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rec center. <gasps> what am I trying to do here? What's... I need a door. Door, 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 door. Oh, there's already a bed here in the church. Oh, wait, that's not the church. I'm <laughs> in the church. It's, yeah. It's... Alright, I got three beds. Squeak B said the famine was because of the rot that destroyed all the potato crops and the people in so charge didn't upstairs? take it seriously in time. No. <coughs> so this guy, I'll get to what you're saying in a moment, B. Um, this guy tried to essentially get an ad campaign going to promote the potato and um, nobody wanted to take him seriously. So he started planting fields of potatoes out by his mansion and he would post guards at night. And uh, no, he would have guards around basically the clock. pretending they were valuable. Yes, and he basically told the guards, like, listen, if you see anybody coming in, pretend you don't see them. Or if they try okay. to bribe you, take the fucking it's bribe. Let scamming. them go and, and take some of the, the potatoes. Said. Hello. <laughs> hey there, RX. How you doing? Said. Hey, so yeah, um, this guy fought like Extended. really, really hard to get the popularity of potatoes said. up. Hey, B. Well, it worked. And B said um, they were brought to Ireland because they were <laughs> stocky and easy to cook, and eventually became the main food source. Of course, it turned out that wasn't a great idea. The famine was because of a rot that destroyed all the potato crops, and the people in charge didn't take it seriously in time. Uh, you are correct, B. Um, it wasn't a bad idea in the first place, and generally speaking, wouldn't be a bad idea. They didn't quite understand how um, funguses worked at the time, uh, hence why things got out of control, or part of why. Uh, but the other thing, like you said, some people didn't take it seriously. But there is uh, a, a huge series on extra credits about that, uh, that basically explains why it was a whole politics thing. Like... The English still thought that the Irish were uh, second-class citizens, and like there was... Scamming. said, a person here in New York City has the dang coronavirus. <laughs> Rx just said a person in New York said, has the coronavirus. Yes, I watched that. Not a big Squeak deal, Rx. Thing. Don't sweat said, it. Extra history is my fave. Just give it another week that we'll have an antivirus for it. Yeah. Right, just keep getting your drink on. You'll be fine. Says that alcohol too, uh, prevents it. Yep. Squeak B. Said. Holy shit, I'm so safe. Extra mythology and yeah, extra so am I. <laughs> Finally, my fucking alcoholism is good for something. Speaking of <laughs> yes! And That's what I said. <laughs> yes, B. Uh, extra, extra mythology is also really good. Um, I like the whole channel, <clears throat> Dude, honestly. But... Dude, history is my favorite subject in the whole world. I... Well, if you have not seen the YouTube channel Extra Credits, then I... Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, I can not hear a damn thing Alex said with that ice machine I'm going sorry. off. That was my bad. I Mute your mic next mic. time. <laughs> 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 oh, what, what did you say, Alex? <laughs> this this uh, channel Extra Credits, if you haven't watched it, you should definitely check it out. Um, yeah, I definitely will. They do a breakdown of uh, a, a really good example of, of history, uh, of mythology, and uh, even, I, I mean, I think it was originally called Extra Credits because they focused on game design and how different elements of game design, um, it, in a history sense, helped shape the games that are coming out now. And uh, then they started progressing on to other things. But it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's really awesome. And that's that's uh, part of what we were talking about now with with uh, the whole uh, potato famine thing. Um, Squeak B said, 
I don't watch their game stuff yeah. that much, TBH. Um, B, you should still check out some of their game stuff. It's it's pretty awesome. Uh, the one that I watched actually just today was talking about um, why so many people hate escort missions in games. And, um, well, essentially they talked about they people hate them because they're done wrong. And if they're handled right, they can be a lot better, a lot more enjoyable. Squeak B said... I yeah, like, when you're doing escort missions, like, just at least let the character, like, walk at the same speed as you. That's one of the things they specifically <laughs> brought up. <laughs> said, there are a few that, that I seen that I did really You need really to probably like. stop smoking weed so you can remember shit. <laughs> um... Yeah, you they... came out here and asked me where that was. Oh, sorry, no, I forgot to mute my mic. I'm sorry, Alex. It's okay. Like scamming. Said. Jokes are bad. Hey, and I got something for you. Squeak B. Said. Oh. Kendra got it kicked out of that one. <laughs> when I said, oh, I forgot to mute my mic, she just looked at me and busted up laughing. <laughs> That's <said>, not funny. <laughs> Yeah, I can hear her laughing in the background. <laughs> yeah. But um... yes, he can hear you laughing. <laughs> like scamming. <laughs> Said. But you need to got to Pokemon. Like scamming. <laughs> Said. <laughs> now. Um. So let's see here. Uh. Yeah, there's a whole religious thing with uh, the English and the Irish. I mean, that's kind of been a point of contention for a long while, right? Uh, generally leaning towards Catholics or Protestants. But um, the, uh, the English believe the Irish were essentially second-class citizens. I jump? No, I can't jump on that shit. <clears throat> oh well. Um, and they would almost treat them like slaves. Not quite, but um, very little pay, very little respect. They thought they were just, you know, dumb. Squeak B said, "Oh, I can't right now because I haven't plugged my switch in a while and it's dead battery wise." But. <coughs> Squeak B said the Irish were expendable. The Irish are expendable, yes. <clears throat> That's one way of definitely putting it. Um, there's more to it than that, though. They, uh... They, they felt that when things were going wrong with the Irish, when the crops were spoiling, they basically thought the Irish were just looking for a handout and didn't want to help them because of that. Um... And that sort of mentality is a lot of what uh, caused the potato famine to turn into such a big fucking mess. If you watch the video on it, they get into detail on basically everything and explain how well, if they would have, you know, taken some precautions, the entire thing maybe not could have been stopped, but there could have been. Uh, Said. It could it could have gone significantly better. Are like the boomers of history. Yeah, unfortunately. A zombie running around with an enchanted shovel. I can't find the fucker. You okay? Yeah, I'm just trying my best to come up inside of the wall so I can put a little door into my mine shaft so I can find it whenever I eventually, you know, come out of the ground. <coughs> and I keep coming up. Hmm. 
It is great. Yeah, you're still outside the wall. Um, a ways over. If you, because I'm very near you, uh, if you come over towards me just a little bit, you can see my name tag, right? Um, I could up until I drop down back into the little shaft. Just, just Let's see. Like now you're below me. Um, oh, there you are. Ah. Okay, Hello. so if you can come up into this area, there's actually already a trap door that leads up into town. Oh, that's the one that I w came down here and then, then fell down that hole. Okay. Huh, maybe I'll put a staircase in right here. Whatever suits you. Hell pig. Yeah, and just... Oops. Dug on... Yeah, let's see. I got something in here I can fix the floor with. Here, allow me, sir. Oh, I'll use my stairs. I just didn't, you know, I don't know how you want to set it up, so I didn't want to, you know. Oh, go yeah, no, I'm, it I'm just trying to uh, disturb what you got going on down here as little as possible. Uh, here we are. Squeak beat. There's really nothing going on Set. down there yet, so. Park oh. route is best okay, well, route. I started a mine shaft. Cool. I uh, got down to 11 or 12 <laughs> and uh, actually came up because I just needed to farm some wood. Nice. Very nice. I Squeak guess uh, level Set. 12 is um, prime Park diamond area. Disc. Yeah, yeah, that's where I've been having luck in Russell's world. B says parkour route is best route. <laughs> okay. Let's Squeak B said, Ah, uh, I hate some meat sticks earlier and now I am burping up moist flavor tear. Alright, I'm back. Oh, they made an iron golem! We have enough villagers for Squeak iron golem. Said, yes! Had asterisk. I was not aware that they made those. That makes them extra badass. Yes. You need a jack o' lantern and iron blocks, am I correct? I believe so, but if you have enough villagers in a village, it will eventually generate an iron golem. Um, nice. To help defend the place, so yeah. Yeah, sorry That's about that though. I, I was just cracking up laughing. Uh, and. <laughs> what do you mean by moist flavored air bee? <laughs> you ever been to the south? That's moist flavored air. Well, apparently B is, is coughing up moist flavored air after eating some beef sticks. Moist flavored air. Mmm. I miss those days. Squeak B said when I burp. Squeak B said the air I said that moist flavored out. air. I love those. It's my favorite type of flavor. Squeak bee. Like, you know, when you eat something said, and you burp it up. Is moist and tastes like the meat sticks. Okay, but that would be just having a moist quality to it. Saying moist flavored is like... Alex, 99% of my uh, diet is meat. Okay, <laughs> yes. And... So, it's always moist flavored air when I burp. <laughs> I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying moist <laughs> isn't really an adjective for flavor. Squeak B. But dry is said, an adjective for wine I flavor. I forgot a comma, sue me. Mm. Okay. 
Okay, I got you now, B. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you were literally saying... Well, obviously. Ah, there it is. Got lost for a sec. Hey, um, how much did the, uh... That pack cost you, the, uh, Mario pack, the, or Nintendo? Me? Yeah. Uh, nothing. That's one that I was able to download and install. Oh. Okay, mm. because I just jumped on your Twitch. I wanted to see it because I haven't seen it yet. Oh, uh... I'm not using it. It's only playing the sound effects. I'm using the DokuCraft, um, visuals. Uh, I can swap it, but it'll kick both of you off for a second. I need to... Uh, uh, no, 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 you don't have to do that. <clears throat> I don't mind. It's not like it's a big deal. I'm just saying, you know, you two would have to log back on, that's all. Oh. That was a sound. Oh, I gagged. Mm -hmm. I, it happens when I smoke. I don't know why. God. Maybe it's a sign telling me you need to quit. <laughs> but I hopped on your Twitch so I can also be a viewer. And so you don't have to read everything back Sweet to me. Okay. Said. Moist, flavored, and now hot air. Squeak beef. Hot, okay. Said. OOF. <laughs> well, apparently the, the speech pack doesn't know what oof is. Oh well. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna back out of your world real quick. I gotta do something. Okay. Squeak beef. What are you doing on there, Clay? Said. Uh, I'm setting up a mine shaft. I wonder if I type this in, what it will make. So that's Sorry, I'm just having fun. Said. <laughs> yes. Pee pee. <laughs> Did it do it? Did it go pee pee? Yes. Oh, okay. Can you, I didn't know what, can, oof. can you not hear when it says something? No, I cannot. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh. God. Squeak B said Toodle Furp Furp Snurgy Lurp Slurp Fingers B working on their poetry again. B a couple nights ago we got a uh, B no just be I got um, a pack of trolls coming after me. That and was actually the last night. Was it? I thought it was the yeah. night before. <coughs> no, it was last night. Squeak B said. Hmm. No, it was the night before because that happened when we were in the desert temple. We still had like a troll stopped by yesterday. Squeak B, but it wasn't said, the whole barrage. I didn't know Minecraft had trolls. Oh, I think you're right. Yeah. I gotta fix this here. Oh crap, that's cool. They have Minecraft DuckTales back. Haha. <laughs> that's nifty. Yeah. I was saying what packs they were. Squeak I was like, beep. maybe there's a free one I can Said. download. Or do you mean Twitch Trolls? Twitch Trolls. Squeak B said, what did they try to pull? Well, let's see here. The first one tried to get lewd content in here. I think he did. Came in and um, immediately said, hey, what's this? And he used a uh, custom emoji from somebody's channel 
which is like erotic furry art. And um, of course, the text to speech. So, um, it if you if you post like like my the the thing you drew for me, right? It doesn't. It'll just read the command for it. So it'll just say, you know, engineer diesel well struck. So okay, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Hmm? I'll wait till you're done. I oh. just saw something really cool in here. But I'll wait till you're done. No, it's, it's, it's cool. What is it? Sweet uh, two things. One, Sid. they have a Nightmare Before Sweet Christmas skin pack. Blip. And two, okay. my favorite, Final Fantasy VII. I'm not surprised about the Final Fantasy VII one at all. Um, oh. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, so, this guy posted this thing that looked like it was uh, erotic furry something and um he says hey what's this and i look at it and the the uh i'm not quite sure how to respond at first because i'm going oh no but then the text to speech says you know this is uh whatever whatever um paw g-a-s-m and i went well obviously this is called paw g-a-s-m and there was a long, long pause, and then he says, "No, it's a cat getting duck." He meant to say getting fucked, but of course, uh, he had a typo. And I said, "A cat getting duck? Huh? Okay, tasty duck." And then he got all pissing. What man? Fuck this. And I said, well, I don't know what you want. Fuck, I don't know what's going on. It sounds like you're trying to troll me with lewds, and I'm just answering your questions literally. Why are you getting Squeak so bee. angry? Said. Ha ha ha. Squeak B. Said. I wish I was there. Yeah, I know you would have loved it. Yeah. So, he, um. Like scamming. Mm. Said. I came home today and a dog said to me, what are you even doing here? I was like, what are you talking about, bro? Then I ran home, but the problem ah, was that time. I was already home. <laughs> you can't run home when you're already home, bro. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I take it you approve of the, um, the text-to-speech as well, Rx? So it was quiet for a long while, and then all of a sudden, like some people started showing up, and it was a, a good number. Like and of scanning. course, always the. Said. L O L X D, I love it. That's always the way it goes, right? You have a bunch of people that pop in, try and be cordial, give like a follow, and then, um. Oh shit! Here I am trying to make this boat dock, and I accidentally find a cave! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Dude, they have a Power Rangers theme. I'm not surprised. <laughs> not I am. I'm Power Rangers? Like, man. But <clears throat> what I was looking for for a Nintendo or, like, Zelda. But, nope. Yeah, Zelda man. one would be nice. Um, well, if we get anybody else in here I might I might bother to get the realms going and I believe if I do that we can actually get it to where we can share certain resource packs and then you can get the Mario one <laughs> small cave yeah I was looking for a Mario or Nintendo Zelda nothing because the guy looks like Link and I kind of was like dude I want to be Link And then, well, the the character skin again. I found that, and that's Link. They have there's a whole resource for skins, but <coughs> I don't know how you get them on your PlayStation. Mm. Whoa, they got a Doctor Who skin skins one and two bundle for five dollars. That one I am not surprised like about. Said. They have Nintendo charters on okay, the Switch well, I'm version. Okay, well, I'm surprised, so... Ugh. <laughs> oh, RX is saying they have 
Nintendo characters on the Switch version. Mm. Yeah, I'm not gonna go. I have a Switch, but I'm not gonna go buy a skin pack and Minecraft for the Switch just to be able to play. Yeah. On it. <laughs> Well, we have a second Iron Golem now. Sweet! Welcome. You okay there, buddy? Another to view. It's okay. What the hell was I- oh, that's right. I opened the chest when I'm actually meaning to use the- you know, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> hey, Phantom. Welcome, another viewer. That's the dude's name. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. I think um, there there are several channels that are automated bots that go in and um, um, kind of rotate through different um Expanding. channels said i mm. mean me gusta come a quiz so um me gusta come quiso. oh spanish yeah that would uh, be all right what does that mean like i think cheese is good i think so because is, isn't Gusta good? I mean, well, it called it Queso, but of course it's the English accent. It's supposed to be Queso, right? Squeak B said something about liking cheese. I'm busy reading the chat, <laughs> and then I start wandering around like an idiot. Excamming said, I like cheese, lol. Squeak B I like cheese too. Said, Don Desta La Biblia Tika. It's my favorite. I think that's I think that's the line that everybody knows now. Who, who what now? Said. L O L I love you B for that. A reason behind American obsession with cheese. I was watching um that show Adam Squeak Ruins Everything. Bee. Said. Yeah. Me and Canter L. Lapis. I didn't entertain. Squeak B. Apparently. Said. You're breaking up real bad. Uh, Spanish C. You kind of feel like Barney well, Stinton when he when he oh, met uh, James's dad and he was trying to sing with him with the auto tune mic. Said. Like James, dad. <laughs> Squeak B. Said. Hey Jess. Hello, Save the Star Whales. How is your evening going? Or morning, I guess, now. Oh, whoa. Oh, man, that wind is strong. Uh, the wind's still going over at your place? No, we got a blizzard tonight. Oh, that's and the right. wind's just like... You're mentioning there was some sort of a warning for that. Save it, Esther Wales. We're getting like. Said. I said anywhere from eight How to twelve inches. I got a new oh, alert that says we're supposed to get more it than that morning, now. It is morning, lol. <laughs> so I'm like, hey. But Said. I already put the snow cha uh, snow when chains on the car on and put a towel over the windshield Jess. so Kendra can drive in the morning. Cool. Took care of that and walked the dogs. Bee. Boom. Said. Super fucking husband. It's not What's the up? morning until 4 a.m. I am. No one had to tell me to do it. I did it on my own. <coughs> a brownie. I mean, whenever I see a, a, a username on on uh, on Twitch, I use the username unless somebody specifically requests otherwise. So there you go, B. That's the answer to that question. Damn. 
Um, oh, mashup packs. Sorry, go ahead. I'm just talking to myself. No, that's Quickly cool. Said. Just request otherwise. Clay, were you gonna uh, bring up the fact that like um, cheese has a sort of like opiate effect on the brain? Oh. Save FSF Wales. Said. Hello? My alarm goes off at four. LOL, it's icky. <gasps> hey, listen to this. My dog is dreaming. Squeak B. Said. Oh god, another wet burp. W H Y Y Y. That's a bad time beam, sorry. Damn it, he stopped. I heard him in the background. I, I heard the quiet bark. Yes, he's sleeping on. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Squeak B. That will Said. be actual dreaming. Go to bed, you dilly. Rex likes to run in his sleep. Save FSF Wales. He doesn't make noise, he just Said. runs. Really, really. Hello, really. Hello, what's up? <laughs> So yeah, Clay, when you were trying to answer me, you were very <laughs> faint, very distant. Couldn't really hear you. Yeah, you sound very far away from uh, your mic, bro. Save FSTF Wales. Said. I have tomorrow off, luckily. But five mornings a week, I hate 4 a.m. Squeak B. I couldn't do it. Said. You wanted this. Squeak B. Said. This was the good option to you. I'm joining back in up in your world right now. Okay. All right. Um... I don't know Save if you can hear us, Clay, but like Said. a fix your I microphone know. level or something. I, I don't know. You sound like I still a, complain. You sound like can a... you hear me now? Yes. That's better. Perfect. Okay. I just <laughs> disconnected from the Discord and popped back in. Ah. Yeah, I was just thinking you guys hated me because I was talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm your brother. It's more of a love-hate relationship. I love you at times, and then I just hate you. <clears throat> but uh, <laughs> anywho, what I was saying is uh, cheese. Uh, apparently, dairy farmers several decades back were um, going bankrupt. Mm -hmm. And the U.S. government, in an effort to save them, bought up all of the cheese stores to Save the point that, like, Wales. to this day, Said. the U.S. government Just has is caves to say full of cheese to save because they ran out of Wales. places LOL. to store it. <laughs> Squeak B. And so Said. their response it's to that good, was to launch this massive ad campaign Squeak to B. get Americans to use Said. cheese on more stuff. How is James in the job and, front? And, well, you know, things like hamburgers became cheeseburgers. That's kind of intense. <laughs> right? <coughs> like, they've got decades-old cheese just sitting in caves. It's crazy. Dude, speaking of decades-old cheese, Kendra's got, Kendra bought this thing called Vintage Cheese, and this cheese tasted like it was from the fucking Depression. I, she, she's Welcome. like, it's really good. It goes well, well with wine juice. Like drink and wine. It or it. I don't know. I, because I put Welcome. it in, it tasted like in say. gay and vitamins. Save if and fails. <laughs> just like, I, I didn't know what to he think about it. I was like, oh my gosh. She's like, it's vintage. I was like, yeah, it tastes like it's from the Great Depression. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's like, she'll like, here, drink this wine. I drank the wine. It went really well with it. She was correct. I tried something new. I mean, like, I don't eat cheese that's freaking 20 or 40 Said. 80 decades old is this still the but apparently cheese does not expire time if it's in the proper temperature squeak b Said. i found diamond. i don't know a single and that block sounds of diamond. Like a good <laughs> just <job>. one <laughs> yeah it was it was a real dick tease and then just a whole bunch of lava 
Well, well, actually, if you found one block of diamond, there's more blocks. So mine in that area. Oh, I am. That happened this to is, me. I just, I just set up my bed and treasure chest and all that, and I'm trying to back off oh, this lava. Excuse me. Bit. That was intense. Yeah, I was not Save expecting that. Save death whales. Six. There's so much gravel. Full time. If I was, I would have like put the mic away from my face when it, that happened. Squeak B. Okay, Sid. So let's see here. We right, I'm gonna come down there and join you guys with the mining. Oh, he's mining. I'm I'm Save doing construction. Whales. Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just getting set up down Cross here. Your phalanges, trying this to one set up sticks. a mining shaft. You Actually, follow I'm gonna my run back to the cobblestone path. Take him to I'm the bridge. Get up there and fix it eventually. Squeak B. Sid. If it doesn't, I'm coming for him. What the fuck? What happened? There was a creeper in the village. <gasps> oh no. Uh, Did it explode? Yeah. Oh shit, I'm looking at your screen right now. Oh. Minor property I damage. Um. Uh, whatever, I'll get back to the bathhouse in a minute. I have a crazy ideal. And when I say crazy, it's crazy. Okay. Maybe Save it maybe we should make wheels. a glass dome for the village. Sid. Like, put it over, like, glass just over the entire village. Threatening in the boat voice. <laughs> this is assuming that the creeper didn't show up because there's some place that's just too dark. Squeak beak. Said. Probably, but... You should I mean, hear you it in my every voice. Inch of that area. Unless Clay, did you leave a trap door open? No. Okay. They, well, I mean, I know there are certain things that can climb ladders. I don't know if creepers can. <sighs> Whatever. I mean, I'm actually, uh, our in the village. our incidents have been extremely low. I'm not too concerned. Um, I still say glass dome. <laughs> <sighs> Squeak B said, are you doing any better? That would be kind of cool though. Actually, it's kind of what I did in my world. I made a, a glass dome over part of my property Save a and a whales. cobble fence. Said, but you already have a cobble wall up there. So Squeak B said, <clears throat> I figured um, I did it so I can get Squeak to my dock B safely. Said, mm. asterisk hugs asterisk. Save a Thester Whales. Alright, how many of Save. these I can make? How are you, babes? I can make five of them. Alright, I'm making this each one. Squeak B. Said. I made me and you. <coughs> <coughs> and Alex. Squeak B. A diamond Said. pickaxe, which so I got some books of enchanting and they have unbreakable on them. No. Oh, hell yeah. Wait. What are I know I had more than two. Okay, there's the third. What I miss? Okay. okay, that's the mending. I want the mending. Uh, fudge. All right, I want to see if I can enchant these. If that's okay with you. It's the first day at. A full-time job, okay, good. Save a Thester Whales. Said. <laughs> I'm sorry, B. Okay. Poopy and floppy is stinky winky. Well, um... I'm, I'm glad that things are picking up for you and your husband. Okay. Uh, right. I'm gonna finish building this dock and then I'll check out what you had with the uh, pickaxes. Save a hey, Wales. Alex, I have a question. Sure. Sid. How Damn do you it, use an enchanted book? Uh. Okay, you need to go Save to the Wales. forge, which is Sid. in the Thanks, base. Alex. Okay. And, um, 
you need to put any item you want to enchant along with the book, I believe. Squeak B. Okay, where's Said. the forge? Like, name your next hypothetical kid like? Floopy. Sorry, anvil. The anvil. Anvil. Oh, okay, okay. Squeak B. Said. So damn it, Floopy can be a catchphrase. Oh yeah, perfect. Ding ding. There we go. Now, <clears throat> I have to enchant the other two with enchantments because. Hey, what's sharpness do? Uh, sharpness is that for a sword? Uh, it's an enchanted book with a sharpness one on it. Um, sharpness should. Uh. Increase the amount of damage that, like, a sword does. Oh, that's what I thought. Okay. Um, okay. I got several questions, so. Sorry. It's uh, okay. <clears throat> what's fortune, fortune do? Ooh. Uh, give me a second to look that one up. Yeah, I would look it up, but I would exit your Twitch. Why? Why what? I'm just looking it up on my phone. Oh. Yeah, I didn't want to exit your Twitch because I want to give you the views, man. <laughs> well, thank you. Um... Okay. It's Fortune. My bad. Not Fortune. Fortune. No, no, that's fortune. Really? Yeah. Why does it look different to me? I don't know. But that's how you spell oh. fortune. Yeah. No, honestly, I'm not the greatest speller. I'll admit it right now. It's okay. So. <laughs> I fuck up sometimes, too. We all do. Um... It's an enchantment specifically for uh, mining or production tools like pickaxes, shovels, and uh, tree axes. <coughs> it increases the amount and or chances of s specific item drops. It does not increase experience drops. All right, here we go. One, so, two, three, think. For coal, diamond, emerald, nether quartz, and lapis lazuli, fortune one gives a 33% chance to Sweet multiply beef. drops by two. Said. Yeah. I'm gonna call it a night here. I have to get up early. Okay, B. Squeak B. Said. And my burps are aggressive. Yeah, yeah, if you're getting burps that taste like that, I can totally understand it. Sorry you're, you're having to deal with that. Um, I, hope you feel, I, I hope you feel better soon. Um, Save or FSA. taste Me better too. soon. Said. And uh, night get some B. rest. Squeak B. Good night, B. Said. Night all. Save Ethester Wales. Phil well. Soon. Said. Love you. Squeak B. You're welcome. Said. Thanks, Oral. Get some rest. <clears throat> Try some Pepto Bismol. It works for me when I get those. So when if it's Fortune Two, then that changes it to uh, multiply the drop by two or three, and Fortune Three gives a chance of multiplying the drop by two, three, or four. Um, okay. So, yeah. Um, the coal, diamond, emerald, lapis lazuli, or nether quartz, if you hit it with uh, something that has fortune on it, it might just double the amount that you get out of that block. Um, <clears throat> it also increases the amount dropped by one for redstone, carrots, glowstone, sea lanterns, melons, nether wart, potatoes, sweet berries, beetroots, and wheat. Uh, it okay. also increases the likelihood you get flint out of gravel. Shit. Oh, what'd you do? I didn't see it, but a creeper exploded behind me, but didn't damage the wall to the village. Um, I figured out how the creeper got inside the village. How's that? 
Someone left a door open. It wasn't me. Uh, it had to be one of the villagers. I was, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I shut the door. Do villagers leave doors open? Oh, Alex, uh, stop right here. I got something for you. Check Thank that you. out. Check that out. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Play, where are you, son? Um, I'll meet you by the trap door leading down uh, the village. There's, there's four of them, or three of them. So well, I'll meet get... you by the one that I know about. The, this one. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm on my way up right now. All right. Okay, this one doesn't have uh, unbreaking on it, but it has fortune two. So. so, yeah, the door may have actually been um, uh, me when I was going to get clay. Um, oh. Because the villagers actually just saw one go out. They closed doors behind them. All right. Here you go, clay. Right here. There you go. Fancy. You're welcome. Yeah, this is... Special if you're mm -hmm. mining diamonds, that'll be a big fucking deal. Yeah. That's why I gave him that one. I kept the Mindy, the one with Mindy one on it that I enchanted it from a book. Okay, so make some. Oh, more, steps. more villagers making love. Three of them. How are you guys doing that? Don't look at me, dude. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to make eye contact. Jeez. <laughs> they looked at me like, like, what are you looking at, bro? Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Maybe they like you Shit. watching. <laughs> made me feel uncomfortable <laughs> well then that becomes <laughs> your problem <laughs> they're doing their thing you don't like it you can you can go elsewhere <laughs> everything okay with clay uh, oh clay down here I mean okay yeah no this waterfall just caused a cave in whenever I put down a block next to gravel all right, I got to go fish and get my experience back up because it cost me a lot of experience to make those. Oh, so. okay. right, because you gotta have you, to get those type of uh, enchantments. You have to be level thirty or above. Yeah. So I'm not level thirty anymore. I was like almost level forty when I did that. Uh, how much did it cost you for those enchantments? Did you try placing them in different orders with the books and items? I didn't know I could do that. It, I, it took me down to 29. Okay, well that's not that bad. I was 37. Next time you go to use that, that anvil, always mm -hmm. check the order because... Oh, the anvil didn't take me down at all. You oh, told me how to do that. No, it didn't. It didn't affect my experience at all. Oh, because most of the time when you use an enchantment on the anvil, like transferring it or anything, it ends up costing XP. But I'd never done it with the books before, so I just assumed. Yeah, it did. It, yeah, it didn't cost nothing at all for me with that. Okay, you, good. just the two the two enchantments I did on the pickaxes for you guys took me down to twenty nine. Which I don't mind doing that at all. Whatever helps gets us the stuff we need. The more diamonds we get, we can get some armor. And if that, like, I'm just going to go fish and get my level up. So if we do get some enough diamonds to make armor, I could be able to enchant it. Or you can be able to just throw the experience on me and be like, hey. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, that's fine. Oh, did you ever do that last night? When you died? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good, good. Dude. Oh, I just wish I didn't live two hours ahead of you guys. That... I'm in the future. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can say because... that uh, I, I wish you didn't either. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I, I mean, I don't mind playing and staying up late, but, like, then again, there's, like, I sleep most of the day, and then I have, like, so little time frame to take care of stuff before Kendra comes home and destroys everything, so. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, I don't care if she's watching this at all, because she knows I'm right. <laughs> 
Oh, I just noticed something. Hold on, I'm gonna test this out. If this works, I'll let you know about it. I just noticed something. I don't know why I didn't notice this before. All right, pull it. Okay, I just noticed this. All right, when you get the when you're fishing, you get the bubbles come up to your lure, uh -huh. and when it pulls it under, if there's there's like a little like the red in the middle of the lure, if you pull it at the right time, you can get more experience. And like it, it there's like a it, it doesn't say it, but oh, let me try it again. If, if if my theory's correct, I'll let you know. But from what I think. Like when it grabs it, the lure, and you pull it, you get something. But if you let it pull it, like wait a few, like a millisecond more, a few milliseconds more, and then pull it, you get more experience. Interesting. Because the first time I did that, I got a little experience. And the second time I let it go down, I got a crap ton of experience. Yes. Yes, it does. So I guess there's timing with this. And if you do it perfect, you get more experience. That's interesting. They didn't used to have that. Oops, that is not what I want. I, I'm going to keep trying this to see, if, like, because as soon as I, what I can tell, that that's what it does. Like, if I pull it too soon, I get a little experience. But if I pull it perfect, catch it perfect, I get more experience. And if I pull it too late, I don't get nothing. Hey Clay, only use that diamond pickaxe on diamonds. Yeah, I'm, I'm not using it right now. I've got plenty All of right. Uh, because right. it's got Fortune 2 on it, that can get you double more diamonds. Yeah, when you mind one thing. Okay. Well, if you're using it on other yeah. rare stuff, say like the lapis lazuli. Oh, is that too? Or. Um, uh, Basically, don't use it for cobblestone. Yeah, yeah, use use it for stuff that that you're you really want to, um, you know that that it'll it'll gain an impact on, and um, don't let it run out either. Uh, like don't let it break um, when it's getting okay. low. Just don't use it because you can actually transfer the enchantment. Will do. No. As long as it doesn't get broken, that's that's kind of the big thing. You end up, it gets broken, then then it's fucked. It's gone. Hey, actually, Alex, when this nightfall comes, we need to go to bed. We're going to have phantoms coming up. Oh, us. yeah. Oh, well, I got a bed down here, so just let me know Yeah, so actually, like this game is more like the more the merrier is better. Because Clay's down there mining, you're up there building, and I'm trying to get experience for enchantments. <laughs> and then I bet when we go on our little adventure to find something cool or do, do murder shit, that will be fun too. Yeah, well, I mean, just the fact that it the the Nether, or at least our first trip into the Nether, went from being you know uh, um, a potential you know like serious life threatening event to meh, it's not that bad. Is, it's because you had backup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that end of itself is is you know a huge difference. So, uh, dude, that's expect... what we should do. We should take Clay into the Nether. Have you ever been there, Clay? I have not. Well, that'd be an adventure. Yes, that will be an adventure. We we'll get some blaze rods, you know, get some things we need while we're down there. Can you enchant a shield? You should be able to. Okay. <clears throat> you should be able to enchant every piece of equipment. Uh, armor, shield, and fishing pole. Any any tool. Um, Can I, damn, I wish I had that freaking fishing pole in here <laughs> that I do in my world, dude. It has the luck of the C2. I told you what it has, dude. Every time I throw that lore in, I'll, I always catch something. Boom, boom. And I every four things I catch is something really rare. I caught like five enchanted poles from the water. What was your question, Clay? <laughs> that was more of a smart-ass question. Can I enchant shears? 
this. Ah, I, think, actually, I think we I can. Think awesome. Yeah, I think you can. That's great. <laughs> uh, uh, in, the sun's going down. In the very least, you can enchant. Where are you at, Havoc? I'm right outside the village. Are you? Yep. All right. What's up? Ah. Well, I mean, one, we should find a bed, and two, I thought I'd let you know. Um, there was an open door. It wasn't me. Okay. I was. Uh, I went through the the gravel doors. Okay. All right. Well, then we'll just keep an eye on it. I do know that villagers okay. close up behind them, though. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, we're bedless. Let me go make us some beds real quick. Um, <laughs> we might want to just head back to the base or the house. Because if we make more beds, we're just going to keep getting more villagers to fill them. Oh, true that, true that. Alright, I'm going to head back to the house. Okay, same. I'm going to go out the side doors right here. Shit, Skeletor. He dead. That was fast. Right. Slime ball. Killed him. Alright, following you. Creeper shit. Why didn't you just make a path this way? This is like the fastest way to get there. It actually um, is, but isn't. How I mean, is it isn't? Okay, you can say that like it's the most direct path in a way. Yeah. But it would have taken significantly more work to try and... Uh, run a path over all that than it would be to just literally come straight out the gate the way I did and then make a, a right. Uh, I'm just going to come into your house and sleep. That's fine. I'm fighting lava right. as much as I am mining. Just be careful. Alright, Clay, we're going to bed. Throw down that bed. Where did I put it? Ah, oh, there it is. Mm. Do -do -do. Get some sleep, love. You got early morning. Put on Parks and Rec. <coughs> Smoke some more pot. Really? Yeah. It knocked you out last night. It's not out here. It's in there with you, babe. Okay, love you. Good night. Since I'm gonna probably be up way later than I'd like to be, I might as well just stay up and make sure she wakes up on time. <laughs> because she will probably sleep through her alarm, dude. When she like went to a weed coma, like went to sleep, dude, there was nothing I can do to wake her up. Like, there was noise and stuff. It was 1.30 in the afternoon, and she wasn't waking up. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so, might as well just stay up. Go to sleep. My house is clean. I actually took care of a lot of stuff today. So, there's not much I have to do tomorrow. I'm happy. I'm finally so, able to start getting back on track with that myself. Now that I'm, you know, feeling better. 
See, okay, just tell me uh, if it makes you feel this way. Like, if you feel accomplished, like, oh, okay, cool. And you feel good about yourself, but then again, you feel like a little bitch. Because you're staying at home and doing housework like a little bitch. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. That, I guess that's just me. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, a lot of guys will feel that way because that's the stereotype. But, you know, that's just what has become Welcome. expected over the course of Dundrizing. I don't know um, it's so... not that I it's not that I expect a woman to do it no no not at all that's not what I'm trying to say I just like even though I do get a monthly income and I do pay bills but I don't feel like I, like you know I don't know I don't know how to describe it to be honest with you it's just kind of like I don't Dumb know, empty. Sit. You know, I'm happy for about 15 seconds, and then there's 16 seconds of that was it. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, how else would you feel opposed as to like, you know, holding a regular job? Was... <laughs> you know, but you know, I'm coming. I'm coming to grips with the, the like for the past like what ten years now since I had a my fatal heart attack. Well, not fatal because I'm not dead, but almost fatal heart attack. And well, I mean, you. I guess you could say that. I mean, you're pronounced dead for a while, right? <laughs> yeah, I was. Um, but. You know, not being able to work is just like, and I want to, and but now that where I'm at now, there's not much for me to do but housework. There's no heavy lifting. You know, like when I was there in California, I was working on a ranch. I was moving, I was getting up, lifting heavy things, and just really staying busy. Yeah. And now here, the only thing that keeps me busy is a video game or housework. I mean... Hmm. And I my my health I not my health but my weight has suffered. You know I've always been a a fit guy. Now yeah. I got I'm not fit anymore. I'm kind of flabby. I got a big old belly, and I don't like it. And every time I look at myself, I'm like, okay, I need to start working out. I can stop this right now. And then but there's no motivation behind. I'm like, what's the point? <laughs> um. I don't. I, I think it is. I don't have someone here to motivate me, oh. to, to push me. You know, because I told Kendra, she's like, "Oh," I was like, "There needs to be a reward system set up or something like something to encourage that behavior." That's... And there's nothing to encourage it. That's a hard one. That's a hard yeah. one. Um... No. Actually, talking about me. Not everything's about you, woman. No, I was not talking about the dogs. <laughs> she thought she was like, I was kidding when I said, Are you talking about me? I, she was like, But I really thought you were talking about the dogs. No, I'm talking about me. We talked about this already. Um. You're fine. I don't know. I guess part of the thing for me is because I have um, some other friends that need motivation about like staying in shape. Now, granted, before you had uh, you know a job that helped achieve that on its own, but um... no, it wasn't a job to me. I wasn't getting paid to do it. It was just it was something I loved doing. And you know what? It's because I put shout right there, and you stepped on it. But, um, I just, like, I miss that sense of accomplishment. I feel like, like, I get home and, and, like, not home, I get done with, the, like, half a day's work and be like, oh. And then I have to do the rest in the afternoon and then get back and be like, oh, God. And waking up and just feeling achy. And be like, oh. It lets you know that you did something. Like, I'm achy for a reason. 
now I'm achy for I don't know why. I wake <laughs> up I'm like, why is my back hurt? Why is why why is my muscles hurt? What the hell is going on? <laughs> well, either either you need to figure out um, how to well. Or, or both. I mean, you, you can you can figure out how to get your own level of appreciation or satisfaction from what you're doing. Um, I love you too, honey. Good night. Or you... And, see, and stuff like that. Stuff like that when she goes, I love you. Da, 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 da. Makes me feel good about myself when I shouldn't. And she should call me fat and tell me I need to work out. <laughs> Um, and she, I'm not, I'm not saying that for her benefit. She's not even in the room. I'm, I'm, I'm meaning what I just said. But my, don't call me sexy. I'm not. Mm. Anyways, why, go ahead. Why, outside. why do you? Um, I mean, I, I have another. I think friend I just who... always held myself. I think I always held myself to a certain standard. You know, I mean, like I, I like it, call it vanity. But yeah, I'm a little vain. You know, I, I kind of, I do like. Like, I, I I have another friend who they they look for different pieces of inspiration or motivation to work out and like to listen to when they're at the gym, and that's that's great and all. But one of my big questions, one of the things that I always wonder about is, like, I have things that might you know be a nice accompaniment if I'm doing something, but when it comes to actually like looking for motivation. What you should really be doing is focusing on what you're trying to accomplish. I mean, if you don't have a point of motivation, then it's a fruitless effort anyway, right? Um, well, the thing the thing is, it's not just because I want to look good. It's because I think the bill, like, when I went to the doctors a lot, like, a couple of years ago, you know, they always say, I'm in perfect health. Oh, you're smoke, you drink, you do this, you do this, and you're in perfect health. I think it had a lot to do with my physical activity also. Probably, not yeah. because of, Not because of my mutated blood cells. Just because of my physical activity. Like, and now that I'm not physical, I think I'm kind of scared and worried. Like, my health is going to decline. My health declines. My heart condition just can get worse, and I could die. Well, then... And I'm, I'm like, I'm like, and, you know, I'm approaching that, uh, that you that time frame where I'm supposed to where my like I know people like no doctor can tell you when you're gonna die but you know I'm post I'm approaching that time frame and I kind of feel like myself I just kind of gave up well no you didn't give up um, you know you're at a point where you don't need to be active and that's making you sedentary so if that's what you're worried about then you know figure out a, a way to get some exercise and start doing that um, I walk my dogs, and that's about the most exercise I get. Okay. Um, can you can you buy yourself a couple of five gallon buckets? No. Really? I cannot. I have. Uh, I I can't. Not here. I, like literally, dude. My place is not big. It's small. And it's just like I have to like upstairs. I live upstairs. So, and it's not hauling them up the stairs or anything, because I know what you're going at. Like, fill them up with something and lift them up. Yeah. Like, curls and stuff. Yeah. But the thing is, is that I, that's my problem. I do not have the space to work out in this apartment. You can ask my brother. You can fit some dumbbells. Yeah, dumbbells, not giant five gallon buckets. <laughs> Can, if you can lay down on your floor in one direction and then lay down in the other direction, that is all the space that you need. I can lay down in one direction, but not the other. I, like Kendra has a lot of shit, and it's just cluster fucking my entire house. I have one spot, maybe I. Okay, yeah, I then that in. then that's that's goal one. Then is figuring out how to clear that space. See, and that that's my that, well. Here's my problem. Even if I do clear that va space, I don't know. I like I, I always told myself every single day, like, all right, tomorrow I'm gonna do some push-ups. I'm gonna do some sit-ups. I need to do this to get back <coughs> active. And then when I that day comes, I'm just like, eh, I'll do it tomorrow. Ah, I'll do it tomorrow. That and it bothers me. Well, and, and, then, and then I've realized I was like I don't have the proper motivation. And whenever you go, eh, I'll do it tomorrow. The next time you do that, think about how am I going to feel tomorrow mm -hmm. when I haven't, and my condition of feeling like garbage is worse. Well, 
see. Check yourself. I thought of that. You wreck yourself. I thought of that. I'm gonna be the same way. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna feel like shit, but oh well, I'll just do it tomorrow. The thing is, is that what I'm trying to say is like I need some type of rewards system, not like like oh I need money or anything like something or a a repercussion system. Like you don't do this. This is gonna happen, but if you do Tell this, you what, if you don't wake up and do push-ups tomorrow, I'll send you a picture of my penis. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck you! I bet you fucking wake up wanting to do push-ups. Well, no, what I'm, <laughs> what nothing I'm... like that, Clay. Come on, I don't need to be Sorry. traumatized. It's happening now. What and I'm... I've already seen it, <laughs> so <laughs> nothing new. <laughs> okay, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is. You have all the motivation you need. You need to look at the very core of why do you want to get in shape? Because if you don't, you think you might fucking die. So every time you go, I'll do it later, just tell yourself, if I don't, I'm gonna fucking die. Every day you don't, you're one day closer to death. Well, I didn't want to get into that part, but there's a reason why I, I don't. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, I think you can get where I'm going with that. <laughs> like, if you weren't streaming, I would tell you, but you are. That's so. that's fine. We can save it for another another time. Okay. I'm, I'm just saying that, like, to me, that's the the core is is you look at you know why do I want to do this and you recognize, you know, because a lot of people, like you said, they want to be more attractive. Valid reason. Um, so well, whenever they go, I don't go want and... to be more attractive to other people. I kind of like, you know, be like my. I'm not. Kinder, I'm, I'm like I'm when she met me. I was in my top fittest. You know. I'm giving and an now... example, dude. I'm not saying it's you. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know you're not saying that, but it's like that's why I want to do it. Is because you know, there's some things going on, and I just kind of like, you know what? Maybe if I start being happy with myself and feeling better about myself, that might change things. Well, yes, it definitely will. That one I can guarantee you. Um, but that's that's your physical level. Yeah. Your your uh, emotional one. Your your sense of um, uh, accomplishment with any work you do. That's a different thing you're going to need to look at. Um, and that's a that's a hard one, honestly, because I mean, at least for me, I've always liked, you know, um, I'm good at taking the support role, simply put. I like helping people. Um, so if I can cook dinner for somebody that I care about, then, you know, I don't feel like a bitch. I'm doing something that Clay, makes me... Clay, I found happy. diamonds, by the way. Come here. Oh, nice. Come here. I found diamonds. Oh, yeah, use that, use diamond that. pickaxe. That's why I'm not mining them. All right, Sorry. Um, oh, oh, no, there's okay. more all down there. I found yeah, a whole thing. The battle here has been, I'm dropping shit in lava, so I'm going to dig down and make sure there's none underneath them first. Okay. Okay. Well, see, that's the thing. I love cooking. I love the reactions that people get from my food because my food is delicious. You know, how I make it, I, I like, and half of the time, I just like, I like, I love cooking. And, and like, the it, if I have it, I'll cook it. I do that. That's one thing I do love doing is cooking. And, but I think that's where my weight problem is coming in because I love cooking so much. I'm eating it also. <laughs> and I'm not doing anything Ooh. physical. <laughs> that, well, is a, that is a handy little pickaxe there. I will tell you. How many, how many diamonds you get? Five blocks of diamonds. Thirteen diamonds. Fuck yes. I'm glad I... Yes. I will tell you awesome. one thing. And physical activity doesn't burn as many calories as you think. Oh, I know um, it doesn't. Um, so I'm... Working out will help you build muscle. But as far as, like, actually losing weight, it really doesn't work that well. I'm not, like, I don't want to lose the weight I have, actually. I kind of just want to tone it. Okay, then working out is fine. I'm not, I, yeah, I don't, I'm not looking into losing the weight, because I've always been a big guy. And now I'm even a bigger guy. 
<laughs> so I, I'm like, no, I want to just go back to being a big guy. But know what? This fat, I can turn into muscle. I've done it before. It's just like my problem where it's coming from is the motivation. That's my problem. I come up with every excuse every day like, oh, I got to do this and this and this. And then I'm out of breath. And I'm like, ugh. Like, that's not me. I've never stopped in the middle of something and just like, <gasps> like, oh, I can't do anymore. I'm done for the day. No, I'll take a 30 second break and like catch my breath and then just go back at it. <clears throat> well, if you've, been, if you've been sedentary for a long while, then, you know, you are going to need to get that level of endurance back. That's just the way it goes. Yeah, not to, <sighs> like, uh, no, I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you the other stuff while you're not streaming. Okay. Yeah, because some of because some of this a lot of that plays into why okay. I want to do this. <clears throat> Clay, you got any torches, bro? All right, cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna help you mine some diamonds. Yeah, I'm just my my pickaxe <laughs> my diamond pickaxe never breaks because it's yeah. mending one, and all I have to do is break a block, and it will. Heal itself. Uh, and I'm old, no, alive. only as long as you keep getting experience for it. You gotta keep that in mind. I did not know that. That's that's the way that the mending works. That's why that's why it's so easy to use mending with your fishing rod because you're always getting experience for using it. The pickaxe, you have to. It's the same thing. But if it's damaged, you can kill enemies with your sword. Switch to your pickaxe before you pick up the XP. And then it'll go and, and rejuvenate part of Mend. the pickaxe. Oh. Good to know. I'm just trying to find Clay more diamonds so he can mine up. Yeah, yeah because you know what's funny, dude? I came down here. I was only in here for five seconds. I was like, yeah, hey, I'm going to mine this wall. Boom, diamonds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Immediately. Dude, I, Clay, I you would not believe the luck I have on his world. I find diamonds almost every single time. Do I not? Yeah, you've been crushing it, dude. <laughs> oh. Luck with, with uh, diamonds in combat? Good. Um, direction and pits? Not so much. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> cool, I'm getting experience. Awesome. Yeah, half this for him setting up this mine shaft has just been getting rid of this lava, so I can actually have a room to start mining in. Uh, do you want any gravel or sand? Uh, the, the, that's the other battle. Above all of the lava is gravel. Well, gravel and sand works better to get rid of lava. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm using. I, I've got so much gravel, I don't even know okay. what to do with okay. it. Because, <coughs> yeah, I mean, been... if you're trying to clear it out, you just drop a bunch of gravel over it, or sand, and it'll block it off, and you're good to go. Yeah. It's crazy, this, I'm at, like, I think we're at level, we're at level 11, and this lava is, like, six, seven blocks deep. Ugh, <sighs> wow. Um... Welcome. Motion to. Motion to. Hello. Said. May Dixie re KT. Okay. What happened? I, I'm not quite sure what uh, Motion Q2 was uh, saying there. Dixie Ricket? Ricket? Dixie Ricket? My body is over the ocean. My Dixie hey, I found Lazul, Clay. Over here. Moist. Mind that's with your pickaxe. So. Alright, I'm gonna put a torch up. I'm right here. Yeah. 
Lazul. Word. I wonder. Welcome. King Mexico 428. Hey there, King Mexico. King Mexico how's things going? Said. King Mexico, how's it going? Engineer. Happy Tuesday to you as well. Halfway to the village and then... This guy, King Mexico, plays the wiki of Minecraft. Yeah. In this stream. He knows everything. King Mexico 428 said, Hey Havoc. Giggity, giggity. Okay. Mm. So, oh, that's how. Oh, they teleport. Mm, how? So, is it an eye, eye of Ender that. Uh. King Mexico 428 said. Oh, I see it right there. Who's our new player? Oh, the new player is my brother. And he did, he got Minecraft a couple days ago. King Mexico four two eight twisted his arm and said, he cried. And you are correct, said, Alex. I give Uncle, okay. and I'll buy it. First, I thought no, it I'm was kidding. just you had to had to um, throw it, but then as soon as it teleported me, I was like, oh wait, no, that's right. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Uh, do you have a like at least semi-reliable way to find Enderman? Because boy, how is that a drawn-out process? I think you have to rub yourself in death. <laughs> no I'm kidding. I don't know how to find Enderman. I think that aren't they in the Netherworld? Like, can we find them there regularly? No. At least I don't think so. Last I remember, they were actually more common here than in the Nether. Said. Oh, okay. I use the I'm desert not sure. I don't know. Since it's dry and mostly just, flat. Because like... they're called Why Nethermen and would green? go to the Netherworld. King Mexico 428. Said. They are rare right, in the I don't Nether. I think I'm going to find diamonds over here now. Yeah, King Mexico says they are rare in the Nether. Ah, I see that. Okay. Ooh, iron. Yeah, I just found some weird dark water. Dark water? Is it green? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's just, uh, what's it called? Uh, Alex, the green water? Oh, there's nothing. Mineral? No, it's if if it's if it's just water that's green, it means you're underneath a swamp. Well, oh, okay. Yeah, I found I, oh wait, wait, that's not okay. I was thinking something totally different when you were telling me about them when you go under the bedrock in the Java edition. Oh, and... that's that's what somebody was was covering on like what might be a, the, the next update. Yeah, Sand. that's why I was like, wait, wait, I got my yeah, lame. It was indeed. Most of them are going to be King Mexico 428 anyway, so. said, Bad luck on the eye. That'll do. Mm. Bad luck, I'll say. Can you find my little lava green water over there, Rick? What? Looks like you walked over towards my lava green water. Uh, no. I saw a, a, a hallway, and I saw an area that hasn't been mined. So I'm yeah. like, hmm, maybe this there might be some diamonds over here. Really, no, I and I found a... Holy shit. I found a cavern full of lava. And yeah, no, iron. that's that's where my water's at. Uh, there's no water over here. Yeah, there's. 
Just oh, get past the lava. It's way over there. That's right beside the lava. Oh, dude. Over here is a diamond minefield, so. Yeah, now I'm actually about to set up. I finally have this room pulled out the way I like to get started. Yeah, and in a minute, I'm gonna start running my rows. Should start really finding stuff. There we go. <coughs> bink, bink, bink. There we go. This is where we need to be searching. I'm in layer 12, right here by the lava. King Mexico 428. We hit some redstone. Said, that lava is right above Smart me. move with the map. Yeah, no, I started hanging in the woods, and I was like, I don't know quite which way I'm going. I have an estimate, but, you know, that'll, that'll give mm. me a lot more of a direction. Damn it. That's fine. Welcome. Just Marcio. Hey there, Just Marcio. Welcome back. Um Is there a way to tell when you're getting above a stronghold? Does it just not fly that far? There's a big forest. I'm not liking that. I mean, okay. It's not bad, but it's going to be hard to navigate with a stupid eye. King Mexico 428. Alright, cool. Ender eye reverses direction or doesn't continue yeah, forward. Okay. When you're near a magma and you find redstone, it's usually you find diamonds nearby. That's been that's been my luck on this world. That is. Yeah. You can't say it's a hard rule. At least not last I heard. But yeah, it's not a hard rule. But <laughs> <laughs> like every time I've been near magma and I found redstone, I've always found diamonds. I'm just saying that's just my luck. Okay, so I'm gonna go a little more this way. Are you trying to find a stronghold, Alex? Yeah. Alright. Clay, I think we need to prepare for battle. Oh, Oof, I I have I'm no I have prepare for sleepy time. I have no clue how far out it what is. What did you say, Clay? I said I'm Clay. not prepared for sleepy time. Oh, finally, my phone's back on. Cool. You a bitch. Um, yeah, a little bit. I don't know how far out this thing is gonna be. I don't know if I'm getting close. I don't know if I overshot it. Um, I'm I'm trying to find one. There's no guarantee I'm gonna be able to locate it even tonight. Um, Clay's about to call it sleepy time. We never got to take him to the nether world. Well, we can do that tomorrow. If I find the... the oh man, there's even more forest out there. Damn it. <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to finish up the strip that I'm mining. Get some crap mm. in my inventory. I did save myself one patch of lava for tossing in one of the blocks into. Okay. And is that a ravine? I bet it's a ravine. Yeah, it's a ravine. Okay. Eh, go around that way. That's fine. Oh. <sighs> Hmm. 
That's really weird. There's a um, kind of spire out in the woods. Even more interesting. A section of cobblestone and dirt. One block by, I mean, it's just one block straight up above the ground. It isn't even connected mm. to the ground. It's just floating that there above the trees. Dungeon? Not likely. It's just probably a bug the way that the land generated. But most of the time you see those on mountaintops. It, it generating up there is kind of goofy. Um, mm. In the middle of a forest. What does King Mexico say about it? What do you have to say about that, King Mexico? <laughs> I don't think it's a big thing. It's just interesting, peculiar, whatever. Berries, yum. King Mexico 428 said could be man-made but unlikely since the top block is grass probably okay, just a rare random map generation all right so same okay <sighs> feel free to grab any of the stuff from my chest that you guys need up there all right are you, oh, are you already out of here Russ? No, I'm not. I can't find my way out. <laughs> Alright, where are you at? Are you still in my mine shaft or are you up the stairs? Yeah, I'm coming down now. Actually, remind me, I need to put some things in this chest. 14 diamonds. Yeah, yo. Nice. So, I'm going to take those and put them up in the chest at the main house. And you know what? Could you actually leave me a couple? Just enough for what? uh pickaxe. Oh yeah. You found them. Oh well I found them, you mined them. And yeah, just leave enough Mexico for my pickaxe. Said how many do you need for a pickaxe? Probably getting close as they two? are usually two within one thousand blocks three. from spawn. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's fine. Make sure my spawn point is safe. There you go. Boom, three. Voila. Oh, fuck. I am nowhere near a bed. Oh, no, no. I was just setting, making sure my spawn point was set to this spot. Okay. There. there. You left my door open, Russell. I thought you were right behind me. The monsters are going to get me. I'm already in a cave. Right. Fight them off. Alright, I need to figure out how to get the hell out of this place first. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you that. Huh? Oh, I think I found it. I, yeah, I haven't fully torches. set the path up yet. Okay. Um, yeah, <coughs> I found it. You're good. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and craft some stairs and finish that up before I hop off. to the his house real quick and put these diamonds up <clears throat> oh shit oh you got a flashback of something oh yeah for sure oh that burnt I hate burps like that oh uh. It's tasted good though. Tastes like a meat burrito that I had earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Moist air flavor. <laughs> King Mexico 428 said. What time is 
beds. Yes, that's true. There probably are beds here. Hmm. Alright, so yeah, if everybody's at a bed, I can try sleeping. I found a village. Alright, hold on. Give me a second. I'm almost at the house. We need a couple of seconds. A relatively untouched village. Interesting. Actually, I don't need a couple of seconds. I need like maybe 30, 40 seconds. Because I'm just crossing the bridge over to the river to the house. I'm just going to go to sleep in Alex's house. Here we go. I'm in bed. Alright. <coughs> I'm running back down. Do -do -do -do. Alright. Okay. Alright. On that note, I'm gonna go ahead and jump off, guys. Okay. Alright, good night, Clay. Uh, Hope you had a uh, enjoyable time. Fairly enjoyable. I told you it's fun it's playing with uh, him. It's fun playing it with like more than Minecraft just eats up so many hours. It does, I and it feels so good. It. Don't you say? <laughs> hey, All right. Yep. Anyways, we'll catch you probably tomorrow, guys. Okay. All right. Take good night, care. bro. Later on. Later. And there was two. Hey, if uh, King Mexico knows this game, why doesn't he play with us? If we, well, maybe. Mm. I'd love to have a person with this expertise. Did it? Uh, are you? So it's here. If, if, if I'm King Mexico 428. Right, I'm going to head to you it's here in a moment. To I am to... stuff away that I don't need in my inventory. King Mexico 428. And said, also, crap, I, found have, it. I have lapels. Nice. Too, I forgot. Clay oh, gave me that. Lap, lapzool. It's fun to backseat mm. too. Yeah. But it's also fun to play with other people. King Mexico 428 said minus 300 and 4980. Right, 3408, I mean 980. What does that mean? That's the coordinates where the stronghold is. Alright. Where, uh, can. Are you easy to find, or how far are you? Do I need to get my map? Um, I am hop a ways on a horse? out here. Um, I was just exploring to see if I could find one. I don't, I mean, I don't know if we even want to take this little trip yet. Okay. <clears throat> you guys were mining, and my construction on the village was done, so I just... Figured, you know, we've got some eyes of Ender. I might as well. Yeah. But I'm always down to explore, man. I was just mining to kill time. <laughs> to be honest King with you. Mexico I was like, uh, I was like, oh, wow, well, I'm just not doing anything. I can go down and mine and find some diamonds in the old. Portal. I found diamonds. Well. And even though I found where the stronghold is, we're gonna need a lot more Ender eyes to open the portal. Say that again? Even though I have found where the stronghold is, the portal to the end, I'm, we're going to need a lot more ender pearls to do it. Uh, yeah. Because um, they get consumed in the process of even finding it, which, you know, now I have. Great. Um, but we need... Is it three or four per side? Or is it bigger than that? Is it 
five by five. Crap. It's five by five, and that means we need like eighteen. Uh, you okay? King Mexico. Yeah, four, I'm gonna two, have to eight. go to the bathroom. I'll Set. be right back. Okay. Total on twelve right. needed. Twelve. Okay. Whoops. King Mexico four two eight said, but sometimes there are some already filled. Interesting, I didn't know that they could generate like that. A little dirt totem to help point the way back. King Mexico 428 said new village project um <laughs> yeah new village project understatement the excavation of the fucking the stronghold <laughs> That's cool. The down tree actually hangs out over that ledge. Nice. So many ravines in this world. Oh my god, that is huge. That is a big one. Oh, wide compared to the others I've seen. New Mexico 428. And lava. So Set. much lava. We need safety rails. <laughs> I don't. <sighs> I will be so happy when they. Uh. King Mexico 428 said a particular horse might. Maybe, yeah. I'm going to be happy when uh, they update it so I can put markers on maps. Because, man... I am back. Welcome back. I mean, I can roughly remember where things are, but if I can put little, you know, on every uh, every map... Boy, howdy, that's, that's, uh, that would be so much better. Mark out all the different ravines and oh, shit. mines. And What's up? I'm just looked outside. Whew. 
<laughs> in Mexico, it's not four two eight. Lots says, of snow. Right. I do like setting bookmarks <clears throat> in mod. It helps remember I'm sorry, where I just get worried about are. Kendra driving in it. Hmm. Well, that's understandable. Here, I'm gonna. Well, in uh. Can you get mods for Bedrock Edition? Um, yes, you can. Oh, okay. I actually looked That's that cool. up today. Because um, something I was finding was saying it's really hard to get mods for it. But I know Java already has the, the waypoint system set up. Yeah. It's a bit clunky, but it's set up. I, I actually read that I could get mods for the PS4 too. I'm like, huh? Um, even when I was going and getting stuff, custom songs installed for Beat Saber, it was saying there's a way to get those onto your PS4. <coughs> yeah, I just haven't explored it. Yeah, well, it's, really, I might tomorrow. It 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 takes a lot more effort with uh, um with you know windows you literally just copy paste them into the appropriate folder and you're done um with the ps4 it's uh it's more effort than that um what i don't know i didn't look it up but I just know that it can be done. Yeah. Um, and it's probably going to be a similar process for modding this. <sighs> That's a big forest, yep. Hmm. Used to be really hard. From what I recall, to make maps in um, well, when I first started playing, and I don't think even if you did, um, I don't think you could zoom them out. You were just limited to a single size. Yeah. So trying to track your way through a certain area with a map was pretty useless um so i basically had to memorize wherever i would you know go exploring and man some of the forests i went through i don't know how i ever found my way out Because actual woods, I can find my way around in. Not too bad. They're little things. I don't know what it is. I man, I managed to do okay. But you know, when everything kind of looks the same, same trees, same textures, you know. <laughs> yeah. Boy.
Somehow the sound came back on the Twitch stream. What came back on, or what? Yeah, when I when I came back onto the Twitch stream, I heard the sound is like doo 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 doo, like oh, because uh, I can have the call volume different from my media volume, so yeah, I, like I guess it turned itself back on, so I turned back it down. Yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna look into and see what mods I can get for this that. If, if it says, oh, you must mod your PlayStation, I'll be like, yeah, fuck off. <laughs> because some things require a modded console. Yeah. And that's not what I'm about. <sighs> I mean, if you oh, got yeah, that, then cool, but, you know, um... Either it takes a lot of work or it's very expensive. Yeah. <coughs> like, I had friends that had modded consoles when PS3 was around. And they're like, oh, dude, look at all this stuff. I'm like, yeah, they're like, let me mod your PS3. I'm like, uh, no. Nah. And actually, I, I'm looking at the same PS3 I had back then, right now. I got it back from my ex wife after all these years, uh, about last February, about a year ago. Got it back from her. She's like, "Oh, it's not working." I'm like, "Why is it not working?" And it was just because she let some dumbass boyfriend of hers fuck with it and just messed it up a little bit. And I fixed it. And I uh, like honestly, I factory reset it, and boom, it was working. <laughs> oh, Axel puppy, you're gonna have to move. Because that is my spot. <laughs> yeah, we all hear you snoring like a human. I'm surprised you don't hear him snoring. <laughs> uh, I did earlier, but not right now. <laughs> yeah, he is snoring like a human being. <laughs> it's like, jeez. Oh, really? Oh, cool. No, no, it's not you. I just... Going through the woods, I really do not want to deal with a witch right now. But she saw me and then poisoned me, so I'm getting to sit here and regain my health. And then maybe fight another one! Which is night out, I guess. <laughs> Dude, I got so many saddles just from fishing. It's not even funny. Well, sounds like it is a little bit. <laughs> it is a little bit. Just like, wow. Poison is mean. I do not like it. I seriously do not like it. Okay. You see what King Mexico said? Uh, oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. That's what got the whole thing about uh, mods. Uh. The whole talk about mods started. Oh, okay. Damn it, I can't fish at night. I have to wait till sun. Like, I was fishing, then I got attacked by a zombie. Oh, 
apparently there was air here at some point. Probably because of the magma. Oh, where are you at? I kind of see where you are, like on the screen, but wow. Yeah. Back your way, and probably wrap things up for now. Oh, you're gonna get off here? We'll see. Ah, that's fine. It's only 3:30 my time. Oh, puffer fish. Water bottle. Cool. I got some. I got a water bottle. Roger that. That would be good. Ugh. Every time I eat these oh. berries, it's just like I can imagine my character I don't know, scarfing them down, looking up, because if I don't do that, I Actually, end up I... planting them. Hmm? Um, uh, to your character, I don't get as hungry as quick when I'm running or mining or anything, doing anything, fighting. Like, you don't get hungry as quick if, you're, if you have meat, if that's what you're eating. Correct. I... And I have a crap ton of meat, so I'm like... <laughs> um, I have quite a bit as well. I actually haven't used any of what you gave me. Um... Dude, I just Welcome. got an enchanted bow. What Two, is five, it? Hook zero, nice. one. Power three, punch one. And it's almost broken. Uh, well, we if you like it, um, I've got plenty of bows you can King recombine Mexico, it four, with. Two, eight. Oh, that would be Six. nice because power three and punch one. Pick. Those are good stats to have on a bow. I don't know what the punch does, but the power definitely. The punch is uh, spider I think pig. It's a yes. knockback. <laughs> oh, that might be. Am I right, King Mexico? Is it the punch is like a knockback or something? Because uh, in a game, uh, a MMO I was playing, that like their one Mexico of their stats was a punch. Two, eight, like you get a punch set. and it was a knockback and Correct like boom, it's, the you, it's a hard hitting further away from you. He, he says, said correct for the bow. Yes. Cool. Alright, that's what I thought it was. So then that is perfect to have. <laughs> Because I play a lot of MMOs, so I know like some of these stats. I was like, okay, it meant this. I wonder if it means that on this. And nine times out of ten, it does. <laughs> I'm going to plant some of these little brickle bushes down by the riverbank. Help build a natural defensive wall. And actually, cod, when you're fishing, getting cod, cod gives you a lot of experience for some reason when you get it. But it's also a good food source to eat because it also keeps you feel, yeah, uh, keeps your hunger at bay too, just like a uh, beef. And I got a crap ton of that. Ugh, excuse me. Well, I'm gonna make myself another cup of tea Jeff, and wind zero down. One. Said. All right. Thanks for the welcome. Um. No problem, Jiffy Pop. Uh, sorry you're you're uh, coming in at the very tail end of this, but um... <laughs> I 
guess that's all I can really say about that. So you're coming on the tail end of this. Uh, it's yeah. It's, if you come in the beginning, there's more people like me and then my brother. Yeah. And we get pretty funny and stupid. G5 well, mainly me one. get stupid. Said. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Depending upon how the evening goes, we usually start around like 10 p.m. Pacific and go until, eh, it, it depends, like two or three. I'm, I'm wrapping it up a little bit early. I need to, I need to stay on top of things for tomorrow. Um, actually, that's arguable. I should start wrapping it up earlier to be a bit more responsible and get more shit done. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So it's, I don't know, I don't know where, where your time zone is, but it's, it's 1.30 a.m. here. So. Um. Yeah. Yeah. It's 3.30 my time, so. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, sorry, but hopefully next time. Look forward to, to you stopping by. G5 Poop 01. Yeah, please. Okay, so you're in the same, same time zone as Havoc. 3.35 a.m. here. Oh, G5 Poop 01. Said. Uh, My worst kind of just went together shift. there. Okay. That explains it. I got another empty water bottle. Cool. Uh oh. I think I woke up my wife. King uh -oh. Mexico 428. Said. Same here. Very, very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbit. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo. Uh, so, I think Jiffy Pop and King Mexico and me are in the same time zone. I believe so. Yes. For some reason, I thought King Mexico was uh, Pacific time, but apparently not. Oh, are you stereotyping because his name is King Mexico? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, we actually discussed like what King time Mexico it was, and I thought he said that, but I'm said. STL. I know. I was just. I was just joking. <laughs> Not all Mexicans are from California, Alex. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Flirting with trouble there. I was just joking. I know. No, I literally have someone ask me, like, tell, uh, because my license plate on my car says California. Had someone mm -hmm. literally like, oh yeah, that's where all the Mexicans are. I'm like, that's not Mexico, that's just California. Like, oh, I thought that was like, they were that stupid. Like, they thought California was like, not even a United like part of the United States. Mm. <laughs> now, don't worry, she was a blonde. A very, she was 22 years old. Kendra met her at a club. Very stupid. Uh, well, there are still <laughs> people who believe that, you know, the sun is not a star. <laughs> Sun's not a star? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, it's just a gas ball in this in the fucking sky. Yeah. Uh, That's exactly what it is. So, so no, no, no. Like somebody somebody didn't even understand. They were like, "Oh man, today some fucker on the subway was saying that the sun is a star. LOL, what an idiot. Doesn't he know that the stars are the little white dots in the sky?" G5 the... Zero 01 said. Oh, wow. I used to be in California like 3 years ago. Welcome, yeah. Welcome. Windsock. Hi, Windsock. What'd you think of California? <laughs> we're, we're looking to... He, my, my girlfriend... Three I, years I, ago, I, he, it, that tells you what he thought of California. He got the fuck out of there. Right. <laughs> yeah. Jiffy Poop 01 said, Expensive place to live. Yes, it fucking is. Exactly. Yeah, that's why I love to. It's too expensive, and the schools weren't that great for my children. My girlfriend and I are looking to move out, and for us, it's it's expensive. Uh, it's hot. She and I, we do not handle heat well. Um, so, 
Yeah, we're, we're looking to peace out, move to someplace cooler, and um, hopefully with, with lower living costs, it will eventually also um, make it so that we can pursue our own uh, business ventures, what we want to do, as opposed to having to just, you know, hold down a standard job for someone else. But we'll see. All in good time. I guess I don't have any more of those helmets. I'll just toss one of those together real quick then. If I poop zero oh, one, getting a crap ton of card and fish. Seven hundred dollars so. for a room and only the I'm room. I'm already at so level thirty now again. For the I'm almost through level thirty-one. I just now live fishing. in my own apartment, two bedroom, for only five hundred and twenty-five dollars. Yeah, yeah, sounds about right. <sighs> Man. That's 700. Yeah. Let's see here. There are some apartments in town. And this is a small town that I'm in. Um, the apartments are going for... Uh, what? They're not... Huh? What? I said they're not cheap anymore. They used to be... Well, uh, like, you could be able to live there with, like... I'm like, oh, okay, it's affordable. Now, like, some reason they've raised their prices. Because my brother, Brian, he used to live there, and he's, like, after him and his girl split, he was trying to look for places, and he found cheaper places down where, and out, like, down towards uh, Palmdale. Um. Jeff, I put zero one. So he, he's like, ooh. Plus finally moved he, because he, he, he said a year ago when he was looking, for... they were affordable. And he goes, now when I look at these same places, the rent has went up. Like, so, yeah, like, there's there's looking... um, this this small set of apartments. They, uh, they, they're now just like two bedrooms are going for 1200 Yeah, that's exactly what he said. When he said a year ago, when he looked at them, they were going for like eight fifty. Yeah, which is still a lot. Yeah. Well, see, I'm looking at this new place here where I'm at. It's three bedrooms, two baths. I'm looking at uh, seven fifty. No, seven eighty five actually. Three bedrooms, two baths, with a yard. That's not bad then. Apartment no, or it's house? It's not bad at all here. It's a house. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Now there's an apartment, a really nice apartment, has four bedrooms, 2.5 baths, and that's going for uh, 900. Mm. That's still cheap. In California? You're yeah. You're going to pay like almost two grand a month for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Be a mess. I'm gonna get some tea. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up the stream here. Um, Welcome, Jos Marshall. As Jos Marshall pops Marcio in, <laughs> said, "Hoy, hey guys, how are you doing so far?" Hey, Jos Marshall, doing all right, dude. Jos Marshall but... said, "And yeah, no commands. No commands. Lol." Sorry, I'm wrapping it up at this point. Um, but thanks for stopping by again. And, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> welcome, Jiffy Papa One, again, for the whole, what, five, ten minutes you've been here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, gotta, gotta wind things down. Um, but, I mean, the plan is to continue Just again Marshall tomorrow night. Said. Oh, okay, um, then. We'll see how things go. Jos Marshall. 
Sid. Again, I'm trying to get my uh, schedule back in order, my sleep schedule. So I don't know. I can't say how late I'm going to be staying up. I mean, the, the plan is to start getting to sleep earlier, but, you know, whether or not it actually happens, we'll see. Anyway, take care. Have fun. Have a good day. And see you around. Good night, guys. King Mexico 428. Said. Good night, King Good Mexico. Night, guys. Take care, Kilometer. <laughs>